when there is none, I have a personal shrine of you in my room, it says maggot. Skarner Gaming, thank you for the sub. Thank you for the sub, Skarner Gaming. Uh, Street Spire, open up. Have I tried going bold? I think I am. I think I think maybe I am. Or it's like slowly, slowly happening. So what we're doing here, what I'm doing here, like, so I might go bold at some point. Because I'm a man. Now, the, the, the important thing here is that uh, instead of crying about it, what you do is you go to the gym and lift weights, and then you get the tooth. And then when you get, when you go bald, instead of looking like a, a, an idiot, you look like a, a, a something not an idiot. Uh, Abandon run. You compensate. You compensate. You just uh, you know grow uh, some facial hair, uh, get the tooth, go to the gym, lift weights, and uh, have a fat cock, and then uh, you're fine. Easy life. Beat Act 1. Yes or no? Oh, dude, I forgot this song is copyrighted. My god. Some, okay. Uh, another case of some fucking idiot on uh, on YouTube who is copyright claiming songs falsely on the behalf of Nintendo because he made some fucking trap remix with this. With this. Someone made a, a trap remix of some shit with that and now he's claiming my videos because he's a dog. I hate YouTubers. Fucking maggots. Uh, what soundtrack was Epic Skyrim or actually Rim? Rim World OST. Hello, Evernyun. How are you? Hello, gamer. Hit me with the Rim World OST. It's too good. My oh, my heart. My arm hurts. Uh, bet for two minutes. Here you go, chat. Put your points in. Also, if you, f I, I'm, I'm, I'm applying for editors on Twitter, and, and if you want to be edit my my second channel, slop, uh, send me an email. However, I haven't been able to go through those yet because I spent all day getting to tortured on a bench. So, give it a moment. Give it some time. If you haven't heard anything yet, don't worry about it. You need real dinner, Mr. Maggot. I ate sushi before I ate chocolate. The chocolate was dessert, man. I need what I need actually. I don't need. I need water. Water. You still bulking? No, I'm cutting now. But I have some protein. But today, today is actually cheat day. It's Friday. I just got tortured on the bench. So today I have sushi and I have a protein bar. That's that's like, that's my cheat. I also had a, a, a sugar, a cola with sugar for the tattoo. And but my my like lunch was like a sandwich with ham and cheese and some vegetables. And uh, my breakfast was oatmeal and uh, banana and some prunes with soy milk. What the fuck? You drink soy milk, but that's gay, Albino. Yeah, I don't care. It's ironclad. Soy milk is the best item. <laughs> when I end up in a, a fight at the bar, I hit like mm, fucking mega. Fuck, do, 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 do. You know, they don't hit for much, but they fucking uh, molest. Beep, 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 beep. Is the bet done? I think it is. Let's just uh, go Ironclad, A20 Ironclad. By the way, also, uh, as usual, we have Chimera cards on because I think Chimera cards are funny. So we have them on. They also affect uh, generated cards. They have, uh, Actually, yeah, generated cards is a bit annoying. Actually, genuinely, like, fuck, it's, so, it's mega annoying, but whatever. Because a lot of the modifiers are, are, are like, bad. <laughs> How's that looking? Good. It looks epic. It hurts like a bitch, too. 
Uh, take damage and from is fine. What does our deck like? Strike, strike, streamline, strike. Terrible. Following, nice. Sticky, okay. The Murd can only play the f every card in your hand is a skill. Okay, this is not gonna. I'm never gonna be able to play this. Thank you. This will be very good on silent, but not on this guy. So rip that block. Maybe transform that and the streamline strike because those are trash. These two are mega dog shit. What's the act looking like? Okay, we got four elite points. We're doing it. <laughs> then should probably transform too. I mean, it's it's damage, but we'll be fine. We'll just do act these three easy and get health. It's fine. Go. Headbutt and uh, all out holy pummel. Did all out damage per three. Okay, two damage four times. This doesn't, doesn't add any damage. It's my god. Okay. Well, it's two more attacks, I guess. Sure. We, we, we. Triple uh, defend. Next time it's only that. Yeah, yeah, I think probably defend now. Next time looks fine. For damage. Nico, cheer not all men are going bald with age. My great grandfather died from blood inflammation after homemade surgery at the age of 105 with full head of hair. Check your hair privilege in your gene tree. Also, nutrition and general health affects it too. Okay, dog. Okay, dog. Lucky sugar, sh scry. Oh yeah, that's actually that's nice. That's nice. That's epic. Dude, don't discard the shield. Ah. Oh. Ah. We're taking damage though. I'm not actually gaining health from this. Nice. Strike you. A potion. S sticky spot weakness. Ah! That's like the best spot weakness I'll ever. Spin, I'll be, spin, I'll be, Retain spin, I'll be, spot spin. weakness. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so it, oh, it's, it's what pieces doesn't work because it's, it doesn't matter. Wow. Uh, yeah, forget that. Ah. Why do you keep doing that, man? Fuck off. Do we bash? Mr. Bino, just wanted to pop into stream a second to tell you your tattoo looks dope as hell. Love the design. Thank you, Mosalu. Uh, strike, following strike, dead. Good. Another scry shrug? What the fuck? Bad game shrug damage, I'm sorry. Hey, babe, have you played multi Isaac yet? Might have missed it. No, I have not. I, I'll wait until I have like someone to play with. I don't like, I would play multiplayer Isaac. I know it's like hype and shit, but I just have no friends to play with. Super so. <laughs> second wins, Memento. Hmm. A cleave would be nice if cleave would kind of go hard. But I mean, these, these, it, the thing is, that these upgrade into Scry 2, by the way. That's like actually kind of crazy. And we have. Uh I, sh I, I will regret not taking the cleave, to be honest. I will regret it. Did you go shop? Did we remove a strike? Yeah, probably. I'm sad I couldn't get that. Sticky flexed war cry. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. These uh, sticky cards are actually kind of crazy. Oh, right, that's, that, that's, that's not sticky. Fuck. I should have used it. God damn it. Okay, it's bash, I think. Alright. Shouldn't be a big problem, though, dealing with this guy. Six, seven, next turn, we should probably kill with, uh, uh, give me Pummel. Thank you. 
seven or four times. Okay, the miracle was fine, but it's fine. We're living. Predatory feed. A two cost feed is kind of ass. Massive void. Ten block and ten damage. Shuffle a void into your drop pile. 44. Oh, that's the numbers in this. But feed is like really nice though. Like, it's just that it costs way too much to play. The most just a glow up. You look fresh as hell. Thank you, it's so. Change category. Uh, I guess I will. Let's play this player. I won't play. I must play. I guess I could play with Helma, but I love to ask it first. Where's the two on my arm? Here. I, I can't just. I don't want to twist it. It hurts. The feed looks like something you would pick. Maybe Act Two or Three. Yeah, but it's a feed, so you'd want to pick it early, though. Our pathing, it's, it's a bit awkward to go into an elite though, that's the only thing. And going into like these four elites, I don't think I can afford taking this feed, honestly. I think we'd be a, a fire breathing to do the pylons easy and then... Well, actually, this doesn't work on the boss either. Yeah. This works on the boss though, that's a good card. That's a dope card, let's go with it. I don't regret picking it up. We want to set up, uh, we want to get her some stickies in her hand first. We chill. Bash. Actually, this is why you don't upgrade Bash, so we can uh, do this vulnerable and then we uh, molest him this turn. Uh, flexed. I think I should just use it, yeah. Game on Challenge Plasma. Uh. Will we put the defend? It's, it would be nice to have a defend next turn. I don't want to draw the defend out. I want to keep it. Smells some nice to piss? Yeah, after this. After Spire. Thoughts on Confusion Runs? Uh, good if you have he heavy cards. Depends on your cards. If you get if you boss up into uh, Sneko, it is uh, you, well, you just pick up expensive cards. Uh, like it's obviously really good on, on on this guy, but it's 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 good. Plus plus two draw is really good. And confusion is like yeah, manageable depending. I should it doesn't matter whether I play this right. I should play it because then I get this. Now I have four energy. That's pretty epic. Uh, I wanna I wanna have the next turn. So let's just do that. Right, yeah. 10 block from that is fucking huge. Keep using it. Fuck it. I can afford it. 10 block is huge. Ah, of wrong order. I don't think it will matter in terms of like how fast I get lethal, but. Because we have two turns now to actually. Yeah, he's basically dead. He did. I might have been able to use feed here, but I feel like the the head, this this wave here is like carrying me so hard. It's like the numbers on this are, is so high. There's such high numbers. It's crazy. Pair. Flex spot weakness. Wait. If the enemy tends to attack, gain three strength. Gain three strength and perform X times. So you flex. It's like a flex X and a frost. It's like that's insane. Good lord, stick heavily. It's also crazy. Thoughts on Confu yeah. Wanna play Four Souls? I have I played Four Souls. I think really Four Souls spots are on stream. Too. When you're old and in a retirement home, how will you feel knowing you're more fly than everyone else? I love it. Thank you for the bit stuff. Uh, I'm looking for regulars to play besides Isaac and SDS. What do you recommend? Well Brutal Orchestra is good. Uh have you played any other good roguelikes? Noita is good. Uh Splunky is good. Uh, Enter the Gungeon is good. 
I forgot. It takes extra funny. This would be really funny with uh, this would be really funny with Chemex or just like a lot of energy. But I don't. Ah. Eh. I already have a have weakness. I have enough. It, it, this is really stupid to pick up now. Uh, let's keep it. Yeah. It's also a bit awkward getting all that, and you can't do anything about it afterwards. Or like it could be good, but like yeah, it's and I already having two of those is stupid. It's really dumb. Let's do a vent. Seven eighty. It's actually a perfect heal, right? It it's it can be a little bit overheal, but. Uh, I think we just go greed this. Fuck it. Greed. Greed. Okay. Explosive portion is good for this. What's on the two? Uh, it's a Brutal Orchestra art. It's epic. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Of course, I discard the wrong thing every time. Seriously, what the fuck? I hate that I discard shit. My god. Take two or. Uh... What's the next hand? We can bash. Bash will kill him. And then we cannot do anything else, we will take damage. Oh, I wish I didn't. Well, there's no way around it, is it? No. No. Order his dog. Could use this to kill him. I can just do that and call it today. These are sticky, so they're all they're all good. Sticky void, what the fuck, bro? It's ass. Just into the fan back. I like having damage though. Void, massive dog shit. Good. Almost all slayed. This is really good. Yeah, head back, head back. This is insane. So good damage. Epic. Yeah, we got the sticky voids. I don't know. Like you can, you can, you get the. Get like status effects on your on your or you like get yeah, the modifiers or status effects. It's like, wait, what? Blood general rang. <laughs> Poison doomed anger. Deal four three four damage to a copy this to this pile. Deal three damage damage for each curse in your deck. Apply two poison. Do poison pill? Three poison. <laughs> Twenty one damage three times. How much is that? Twenty one. A, a blood bludgeoning that scales with fucking strength. Wow, 63. Well, it's like it's a bit uh, annoying because it's random, but uh, this would be funny. It's a fu that's a this is a funny ass card. I'll take it. <laughs> Lol. Do we uh, do we go burning or do we want to upgrade our uh, anything at all? We have no upgrades. Any upgrades for real? Yeah, I gotta get upgrades. Fuck it up a bit. Nope. Oh. This is good upgrade. This is really funny. So I'll upgrade it. Hello. Well, I was gonna demolish this guy. I could just do this immediately. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> uh, recalling boot for this lamb. Doubtful dropcake. Weak, weak. No. No, I don't want weak. That's funny.
Hi Albino, I am an avid archive watcher and Hi. I wanted to thank you for returning to Fortnite because thanks to you I returned as well and am having a ton of fun. Cheers. Thank you for the bits, Barney. Glad to, uh, glad to, uh, happy to entertain. Uh, do we go bonfire? I mean, I could have used an upgrade on like a lot of stuff, but this this particular like 14 is a lot more. 14 block and 14 damage, dude. Hmm. Shop is useless because I only have 110 gold. Yeah, let's go here. But anyways, go here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty good card. <laughs> We're cleaning a house with this thing. Hey yo, goodbye. Wow, it just works. <laughs> it's actually so stupid. Armaments? Armaments could be fun. We, yeah, we, we, going into a boss fight, going into Guardian, sure, yeah. Hi! Don't roll the. Yeah, thank you. I gotta just draw the, the fat card. There it is. Okay. Yep. Yep! Uh, do we not? We can take 8. I don't care about 8. Who cares? See ya. Courier. Supplier offering. Next turn, gain 3 energy. Flex? Oh my god. Flex four times. <laughs> what is up with this fucking uh, X card, flex cards? X flex. Flex is supposed to be free, that's the point of it. This is stupid. You get you flex and you get nothing left. Stupid maggot card. Uh, upgrade something epic. Uh, maybe upgrade. Uh, I mean, Arnaments is fine, upgrade. Offering uh, five cards. I think Arnaments. Because there are so many upgraded. Uh, we can draw a lot to uh, this, this, yeah. Since we're lacking so many upgrades, uh, this will help. Hey. Yeah. Bash! Following strike. Uh, anything to get back? No. Perfect. Draw the funny. Oh, I didn't get the funny. Very sad. That a miracle hand. Did we do that? No, not now. Yeah, so I can't really. Can't really play it now. Okay. I'm gonna get void because if I get void, then I'm fucked. Uh, twenty nine three times seems good. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. Energy, energy relics will go really hard right now, though. They will go giga hard. Youch. Guess we'll take some damage then. You are dead. 54, 54, 54. That's a lot. That's 54 three times. That's, a, that's quite a lot of damage. Doom bludgeoning. Need more damage? No. Nah. <laughs> Sticky fiend fire. What? Retain. Exhaust your hand. Deal 7 damage for each card exhausted. If fated, gain 15 gold. By the. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, with Runic, with Runic, that's even funnier, isn't it? With Runic, that's fucking hilarious. But not everything is sticky, but yeah. I really would like uh, Runic also with uh, ornaments upgraded. is pretty nice. Oh, I mean, Runic's cards would be cool, but like, yeah, just this Runic py Runic pyramid is like just epic. Give it, give it. We can solve the money issues. 
It's, it's solvable, especially with shops coming up. Also, we have until the shop we have energy potions, so whatever. Now, yeah. Ten. Thirty. Not enough. Alright, um. Let's go Take some damage then. Oh, yeah. Well, I hit him two times. What? Okay. So basically, uh. Die. My money now. So that's, I, I, I t I'm telling you, man. It, 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 this energy problem can be fixed. It can be fixed. Don't worry about it. Oh, wow. We're going into a shop now? Hmm. What is it you seek? What is it you offer? In sync with this final verse, a door is behind you. It slams shut. Uh, riches? Uh, riches? Uh, riches? Oh, wait. What? That's, that red school is, uh, hmm. It's acting. That's really convenient. Um, riches? Leave. Okay, we're very low, but, uh, but there's a waffle here, so who cares? Yeah. <laughs> ha! Ha! Suck on that! <laughs> Easy waffle! Easy fucking waffle, dude. Let's go. <laughs> ah, I guess I'll buy it. Sure, why not? I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty epic. We can also uh, bottle the offering. I was wondering, we had some problems, we had a couple of problems. We, first of all, energy problem, second of all, draw problem. However, this is both, and we can put it in a little jar and come in it, and put it there. Boom. Epic! Uh, get that. Now. 20 for this, lose 6 HP. Oh, 6 is actually over the limit, okay, so fuck that. Well, we got 97 health, and we have a bunch of epic stuff. Stick in flame, no. Now would be a good time to remove a strike, actually. Yeah, fuck off. Bye. And we, we, we can keep more money, we can keep money, it's fine. Now, where do we get the most elites? Because now I feel mega fucking strong. Through a shop? Well, I could buy something in the shop, I just feel like a waste. We get two elites if we go through the shop and waste the floor. Surely. We gotta go here though, anyways. 21? What? Uh... Nice money. Epic! I love doing damage, it's funny. Another question is, do we go... Yeah, here we get Elite and Bonfire to upgrade the... the uh, first of all that, and for, second of all that. Any thoughts on the game awards? No, I didn't see it. I haven't watched it yet. But I don't think I will, because it's boring every time. It's dog shit. Every, like, every... Every, like, uh, game award... is just, uh, like, page... Page shells. Like, it's just crap. Like... <laughs> You're not gonna discover a new game through the game awards. It's just fucking crap. Someone's gonna watch it. It's shit. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's just go shop then. I have two for the sevens. I, I can afford stuff too. That's the worst part. Mass reality. Whenever a card is created during combat, upgrade it. Hmm. But I don't really create cards, do I? No, I don't. Flash of Steel is pretty epic. Holy offering. Double tap could be very funny with uh, some stuff like the bludgeoning, <laughs> bludgeoning rang, bludgeoning rang, and whatnot. But uh... shop wasn't amazing or anything. I think again we just remove a card like a sticky strike, it's, which is essentially now just a strike. Let's just go away. Fix my deck. Make it not shit. Thank you. Hello, dogs. Cards. What to do? Is it maybe time for a uh, gambler potion? So I can find cards that aren't crap? I think so. Clear we can keep, but uh... Yeah. Maybe that too? One, two, three, four, five. Draw five. Could be good, could be ass. Hmm. Yeah, 4 energy. I don't need this right now. 
Nice. That is epic! Uh, Lucky Shrug. Do you play that? We want some block. Yeah. What could I find? I could find a boomerang, yeah. Do we just block or do we kill this guy right now? He, he needs 52 damage. We can use this and delete all of my card cards and kill him guaranteed. But that's like uh, not probably smart. Because these cards are good and there are s these are not so good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will get money though, but yeah. yeah. I think I just use this. Boom. At least we do that for sure. Now question is what do we do now? From the cool ones, inscription and Pony Island author is making a modern game. That's cool, yeah, sure, why not? Good evening, Mr. Bino. I hope all is well and that you've had a better year than me. I've had Any a great year. games you wish to play down the line? I'll be uh, schizo, I'll be Armored schizo, Core. I'll be schizo. Just block. Bologu too. Yeah, I, I don't even know what Bologu is. 14 damage. 14, 14, 14, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4. That should be enough for kill on this. Uh... But we don't have enough block, so I think we just hit him for 18. And then we cleave all for 15. And then uh, we still need some more blocks to do that. And these are next cards, it's fine. Look. Epic. We we'll, we'll are still, we, I know now, even now we still need more block. So. That's fine. Next turn we get two more, so we can use the... We take four, that's okay. We can throw the, we draw void, but we gain two energy anyway, so I have like, I have mega energy right now. It's fine. 13. Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> Could have flexed, but I didn't need to, so who cares. Goodbye cards, goodbye you too. Money! Omori, ancient potion, nice. Blasphemous pummel. Deal, wait, what? Deal 10 damage 25 times? <laughs> Wait, haven't we done this 20 times? I'm taking that. Holy, holy moly. <laughs> Wait, so that was how many times? It's this uh, 20 times? 25 times. Dude, what the fuck? Well, that's pretty good damage, I think. Blasphemous. <laughs> 250 damage. Hmm, that's pretty good. Chat, do I have lethal? I don't know, maybe. What's <laughs> a fifth? <laughs> but, but if I strike, if I flex on a two, dude, imagine. Fucking ruffle. Wait, I can just kill right now, right? How much is this? 10 damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's enough. Yeah, so this guy. See ya. Okay, we have lethal. Eh, <laughs> uh, yep. Dude, or a Shalkim. Epic fucking, yeah, uh, yeah, sure, let's go. Uh huh. Bash him and, and boomerang, or? Oh, he flex first. I, I, want, I really want to roll that twice. What? Scam. Scam? I love Miracle X, thank you. <laughs> oh. Very nice, very nice. What over over? <laughs> oh, I think we're good on damage. It's got heart is not gonna die to that, but yeah. Oh my god. Prep? Paper frog, hope the damage. I don't need that damage. I don't need it. There's no point. Uh, for now, I think. Uh, oh, not. Actually, that spoon is pretty sick. It's kind of sexy spoon. But so is the bag of prep. I love prep. Prep click. That's the money, I think. 
Save money. We got a we got an epic spoon though. Let's go uh, here upgrade and do a burning elite. Now we can burn and I can upgrade this blasphemous permal to do like twenty to do it five five more hits. That's pretty good. That's kind of funny. I, I believe we have a. Uh, like I just need to draw that card and very good honestly. If even that, I can literally just bash into this. <laughs> oh, I forgot to get money. Shit. Whoops. No. Hello. Max HP this guy. That's usually a problem. Normally that would be an issue. Normal winter. Flexed. Good. Post. Boom, boom, boom. But it's Christ too, that's kind of sick. I want to draw the, uh... That. Yeah. Ten damage for... Eight cards. Let's move more. Can't win. Can't win, dude! Nice. As well, my money. 20 gold, look at that. Dude, die. Huge money. Streamland Rampage costs less when you use it more. This, this, this arm X! Okay, that one I take. <laughs> That's funny. This arm X, what the hell? Loses X three times. Lol. <laughs> I I do I need chemical like I need chemical like so bad holy I need bash I need bash so bad oh, that's that's the attack is actually nothing dude Genuinely nothing compared to the what I have. Stock pot weakness. Hmm. Maybe I will. Maybe I will do it. Can I draw a card? I don't think I can. Wait, how much is this turn in 25 times? Wait, it's actually. <laughs> oh, the the bet. Sorry, I forgot. Oh, the way I'm typing this shit hurts. Ouch. Act three. Reaper is probably nice. Uh, Necro Dragonaut. It's probably good. That was 325 damage. Yeah, it's absurd. Absurd damage. I hope we get Timekeeper as my boss. I can just molest. This is a good block, but... Um... I don't really have any synergy with this. That's the thing. It's just kind of there, you know. I need a bit of bl block pan. I guess I just actually getting this diversion of Impervious is probably like fine. These are all not good. But I think actually I can, I can do a Shulker, honestly. Blood Choker is a card that actually works now, because we're not, we're not doing like a... Uh, we're doing Blood Rang and fucking Blasphemous Pummel, so I don't think we... Yeah, Blood Choker is probably fine. Yeah, genuinely Choker. I'll take Choker. Thank you. Thank you. Good pick for this. Because we play like three cards to win. Where's the most elite? That is left path. Where's the most event? That's not left path. We have Omomori, so if we get, dude, I want to hunt for uh, Mind Bloom because if we get early Mind Bloom in one of these three, then we have two Omomori, so we can take away the the penalty of gold. So fuck that elite, I'm gonna go here for for that. 
I wanna get money. Actually, events are just epic, anyways. Alright, we're doing good. Two damage, oh no. Uh, do we have any flex stuff? I need, I need strength. Right, not gonna bust him as well, I think. Kinda need some... Um, Second doesn't get played, huh? Okay. I do full block, so who cares? Good damage. Very nice. Oh, I guess that just kills. Anyways, poison rampage. Did six damage. Chris by 8, apply it. <laughs> okay. Do we have any like downwards in our deck now? What a deck, it's great, yeah. I, I, my black, my block plan, my black plan, my block plan is not amazing, but uh, hopefully. Yeah. No, that's not what I want. Uh, nuclear brutality. Blasphemous. Uh, <laughs> Nuclear. This is like the bloodling of all time. We get you get energy and you ch channel plasma. Holy shit! I almost want to buy this juicer. Kind of. No, this is shop is kind of ass, honestly. Except for the nuclear nuclear thing, because they have like X cards. I have the Sarm X and whatnot. It can work nicely with that. I guess I'll try and take nu nuclear blue, I think. It's gonna help. Shrug. Yeah. Oh! Oh! I'm gonna come. 99 gold. 1200 gold and no curses. Thank you, goodbye. We got it. It paid off. It paid off. Real. Real. Oh. I knew it would happen. I knew it. Good damage. I should have flexed. She. Ow. Ow. Uh. Eleven. All right. What's what's like slipper in there? Oh, it's a slippery day, right? Uh, that's sad. Let's throw this again. It's really fun when I do that. Eight, seven, yeah. Loads of money. <laughs> you think you think it's gonna do a lot of damage to me? Chat, what do you think? Your thoughts? Funny. Cards funny. Cards funny. It's true. Thank you for the bits, Echo.
And uh, Dumanesque, thank you for the sub. Good, seeing red. Uh, how do we how do we go? Do we have Blasphemous in here? Because I hate this guy. This guy sucks. Any flex? Got that. Yeah. I hate that so much. Ow. Well, this thing is here, so I guess we win. Or this is 14 each. 14 for so many cards. That is enough. Right? Yeah. Good money. Good cash. No. Ah! Ah! Heal! Thank you. Do we, I think we should go to the shop, right? Should we go to the shop? Just cycle through. I mean, I gotta spend this shit somehow. Or we can go for events and some elites. Events and elites sounds also cool. Because we have courier, so we can just buy everything somewhere else. Who messaged me? What the fuck? Hmm. There are two elites left pass anyways. Yeah, but left pass doesn't have uh, doesn't have uh, uh, question marks. I don't care about encounters that much. I mean, they give me money, sure, but like... What I care about most is just getting events, because this could be like the two orb workers, this could be uh... Oh, what are the events here? Can we do I have anything here? Potion tracking, no, no, no. Do I have info mode? Uh, we got uh... Why had... Well... Why wouldn't be very good. Sphere. Mysterious Sphere would be nice for like colorless cards. Uh, I guess it's mostly gonna be monster to that, anyways. Yeah, this is mostly gonna be monsters. Low, low chance for shop. Yeah, treasure very low. Okay. Please, member card, member card, Mem member in shop would be insane. <laughs> That would go so hard. Should we just cycle shops to try to get that? Honestly, yeah, let's just look for a member card just to go full greed. Hornclit, that's like the best boat. Please, members, I swear to god there's a member in here. Okay. No, but we get feel no pain for one. Yeah, sure. Uh, predatory uppercut. <laughs> uh, medical kit is nice. Funeral pain is nice. Yeah. Funeral pain is nice. Funeral pain is pretty nice. <laughs> That's pretty. It's pretty good, uh, you know. Go and get medkit. These are not very good, so I'm not gonna get those. I really want a barricade now and uh, like some stuff like that. Barricade would be nice. I want to generate cards because I don't have I don't have enough cards to like a uh, like the the uh, power through like to to generate wounds would be very nice right now. I really really need that. Holy. Oh yeah, we want to be vulnerable. I also get to get a shockwave or something. Vulnerable is really risky for me. Because it makes these uh, pretty epic. Punk, punk, punk. Uh, 7 damage 25 times. Well, now it is 1025, which is enough. We could just delete this guy and not care too much about getting money. Oh, whatever. Goodbye. Uh, no. Trickers could be okay. To trim down, like, um, some stuff, I guess. Sure. Because we're li li lacking some block, I think. Let's go, uh, here. I think upgrading that would be nice. That's it. 
For double elite? No, I don't really. Relics. I can buy relics later. It doesn't matter. And uh, for this act, I'm fine. So this guy is not gonna hit me ever for anything. I think. Some really HP. Yeah, you're 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 nothing. <laughs> nah, I don't think you will. Do. Minus 15 strength. Bye bye. Fuck you. Order. All right. Perfect block. He's so good. Poison. That is a kill, but I could get some money, I guess. Yeah, let's get some money. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. No. And now we do 24, 24, 24. Then we do a million damage. Goodbye. More decks. Very good. Uh, Blushing again. Bless. Bless. Why does it have to be? God damn it. Thunderclap. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm actually I'm missing Sorcerer Vulnerable, so a Thunderclap X could actually be... <laughs> yeah, actually, genuinely Thunderclap X, sure. Can we please get the, the X, uh, Chemical X, man? You'll be so funny. Lamau. Oh, it's stupid. Let's kill all of them. Oh, sh I forgot about the, the fucking Velvet Choker. <laughs> Whoops. Hate when that happens. XD. Money in the- oh! Dude, what is his X card? Inflame X? What is this fucking joke? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hit, hit me with that. Ruffle. <laughs> I cannot have too much energy. Thank you. Hmm. Twenty four. That should be good. I lose this for a bigger hit. Will this give him a lot of strength? No. <laughs> ah. May take some now, but oh, 12 times 4. What, dude? That's so scary. But uh, uh, what if it was not scary and I just do this instead? Let's pop that. How do we heal like uh, decently now? Or, like block. I really wish I could keep some of this block, man. I thought I thought for sure that would kill them. Fuck. We're chill though, we're chill. Five. Dead. Hello, Miracle X. It's so good. Thank you.
Okay. We should be uh, good now. Yeah. Chill one turn and then I should be able to one shot now. With 16 strength, I think this should probably just like. Yeah. <laughs> Beat him the fuck up. Move on to the next. Don't decka. Should not be a problem. Nice. No! Dude, I hate this fucking relic! Fucking dog got so much energy. My god. Fuck. Ah, uh, wait, I used it first. Strength. Fuck you. Oh, Lord, fuck gone. No! Hmm. Very nice. That's correct. Yep, that's right. Oh. Strength for free. Thank you. Just gotta kill this guy somehow fast. Will this do it? 13 times. Uh, yeah, this will kill him. Yep. The rest is. Uh, Bless him as Pamela, sure. All right, how's it going? Good. How are you? You know how good it's going? It's going this good. <laughs> That's how good it's going. Love it. Hop on Lego Fortnite. It's, it's, the game is a bit empty, I feel. A little bit empty. Lego Fortnite is still a bit empty. Uh, what should we get upgraded? Maybe a flame max? Yeah, I definitely need more damage, right? Like... Surely I'll get that to get myself online a bit faster. I sometimes have energy problems, so that should fix it. Okay, we have 1000 gold. What do we spend it on? Noxious secret weapon, snack of supplier blind, uh, dual wheel with cemento, shield with flame barrier. What, lots of block here. That's pretty nice. Philosopher twin strike. Cosmetica, I get Encore. Marbles. Cosmetic guy. The boots is epic. Nice. Nice. Well, that's a good amount of relics. I guess I could get uh, something else too, but... Gamble, right. No membership card, unfortunately. No. Oh, b 3 yes. Holy f... Be attacked four. Gambler. With this, we can dual wield attacks like uh, Lord of the Ring and uh, stuff like that. I think I want to dual wield actually. I think I want it. This is good for the final fight. This is not as good anymore. I guess I'll get a heal instead or like a. Uh, uh, I could portion for the final fight would be nice. Not that I think I need it, but. Heal? 20 health portion? Seems good. Sure. Spire Gaming Albi Pop. How is the new tattoo? It's epic, I love it. I Quebec was gonna go hard with this. Anything? I got two cards played. Three. Noise. 21? Sure. 
Oh, right, whoops. I still take a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage. A minor amount of damage. Good block. Put up, put up, put up, put up. 57. 38. I need more block. Shrug. I don't have enough strength, right? Strength yet. Uh, I just blocked them. Yeah, sure. Okay, that's for luck. That's fine. Thank you. Order. Oh, I have lethal. Because I can't duel with this. <laughs> Four cards, fine. Yeah. Alright. That's it. Noxious void for blood. Oh my god. Okay. No, I don't think I will. What's done for... Uh, yep. Greed. Before I forget, put that on. Should use this first shit. Good. Uh, I guess I can't really do anything that much meaningful right now. No? Okay. No vulnerable though. Get some block. Do we just uh do we just boss the fuck up with a bunch of strength? Yeah. <laughs> nice! That's good damage, I think. It's not that much though. Oh, okay, it's a bit damage. Yikes. How do we defend against this? I don't have the feeling of pin up. Let's break that, first and foremost. Yeah, I guess I, I, yeah, I just take a bunch of damage. Okay. But so now we have more strength. We have 25 strength, now we can start doing damage. It's, it's fine. Pin up pin, yeah. Here we go, the good cards. Perfect. Still artifact now, so let's remove that. The next turn we can disarm twice. Or just to be the mega disarm. Is there anything you want back? Not really. Okay, let's just do use this. Maybe that's no damage. Good. Good, good, good. 155 is hitted now. Yep. Sticky void, damn, I gotta play it. Nine block for free. Slippery wound. Uh, now we just gotta wait out one turn. Live, live one more turn, and then we're good. Yeah. As long as you don't die now. I didn't die. Okay. Goodbye. 
<laughs> okay. Believers. As long as I don't die. Blasphemous. Uh, no, the last time, last time I had something like this, it was Blasphemous uh, Boomerang. Boomerang was it. This is like, it's like ridiculous for most of the game, but then Howard comes around and you can't kill him fast enough, and actually bosses are like... Uh, the, the Awakened one, you cannot kill instantly, and don't deck guy, there's two targets, so you need like a dual wheel or something, but yeah. It's literally the self-harm SDS build, peak Iron Shadow Gaming. True. Eh, yeah, true. Max HP saved him. Fuck, I was 14 HP off my calculations. Wrecked dog. Max HP is nice. It's neat. Send a tier list of games that you played in your Blizzard. Oh yeah, you have that. This Discord DMs, but I don't have Discord DMs on. What? Albino based tier list. How do you know all of these games I played? I haven't played Owl Boy. What do you mean? <laughs> this is going through my Steam shit, isn't it? There's a tier list of games that I played. <laughs> is Fortnite here? It's the games that I have. They're not. Oh, Artcraft is here. Okay, yeah. I wonder if the Bosch is here. Yeah. There's only game I have no idea what is here. Halo 2 is epic. I have not played Goose game. Here's a, uh, yeah, so, uh, Dula made a list, uh, of tier, tier list. What the fuck? Oh my god. Here, there's like a, so, it's like a, there's a tier list made of games that I played that I, like, I haven't played, uh, Firewatch. <laughs> I haven't played, uh, this, uh, well, I know what, I don't know what this is. Uh, I have not played, uh, but I did play this for like one half a stream. Nothing else? Okay, do we, do we do a tier list of games, of games that I played? Minus Fortnite. No, Fortnite is here. Okay, cool. Didn't finish Elix 2 because it was a bit boring. Didn't finish Oblivion because of the same reason. Sorry, this Oblivion game was a bit boring. I haven't played Meat Boy yet. I want to play Meat Boy. Should we play Meat Boy? By the way, should we play Meat Boy? It's like a it's like a classic platformer. I've heard that it's like a hard game. I think it's like a perfect game for me, isn't it? A the difficult platformer. I should I should definitely play Meat Boy. It's a, it's just a game that I never played. For some reason I never played it. I played Maggot below average. Oh my god. S A B C D E F. Okay. Okay. Alright boys, are you ready for the objective video game tier list of all time? Objective gaming. Oh yeah, I, I can tell my actually from myself, my own reflection on the screen that I look tired. You know why I look tired, chat? It's because I am tired. Because I had to wake up early for a tattoo appointment and it lasted all day and I've been in pain all day. <laughs> and now it's like... And, and, uh, no time to recover, time to stream. Change stream title. Okay, yeah, sure. Epic tier list slot. Let's see. This is gonna be like a multi review of games. Subnautica. Subnautica. Sub fucking Nautica, man. Oof! It's not gonna be high. It's gonna be like D. It's D tier. Or like C. It got underwater very well. This is not below C, right? This is the original, yeah. Original was, was like good. It's mid, it's mid. It's like, dude, the underwater swimming and everything looks really good. The audio design is really good. Uh, it's great, it's epic. But then you go on land and everything is ass. 
And the story is not amazing or anything. Uh, the game is really buggy. It has a lot of pop in. It's scary as fuck. Uh, I don't like playing it. But it's mostly my my negative series is that like overworld co overworld movement seems fe feels like ass. Um, the game is really buggy and it's a lot of pop in and it's like unopt so unoptimal optim unoptimized really badly. Uh, it's just not like it, yeah it, it could have been really good but it's like really not and I don't like fish so fuck this game. I haven't played Sun Zero. So this buyer goes in first first epic tier the best the best card this is like chess this, this game doesn't get old it's perfect. There's not much to say about it. It's like I've never like, this game just has every boss every boss battle is different but and challenges a different part of your deck. Deck building is really cool in this game. Uh, every card has a purpose in this game. Every relic has a purpose in the game except for the boot. Uh, everything about this game is just like like really well balanced and thought out. Like I don't know how they fucked did it, but after playing Spire, the thing they won't take away from Space Slayer Spire is that if you play Slayer Spire one time, every other card game you play after that is going to be shit in comparison. Like it's Slayer Spire is, is a curse. It's a blessing and a curse. It's like, dude, this game is so fucking good, but then okay, well now every other card game is ass because it's not Slayer Spire. <laughs> it's just that good. It's it's just that game. It's that it's super good. Next card game you play, you will hate because it's not this. Inscription is still fun after be after Spire. Yeah, because Inscription is not the same type of game. They're completely different. Ins the Inscription descri the, like disguises itself and and makes you think it's this, but it's not this at all. It's something totally different. Uh, Rimworld. Uh, uh, let's see. B for the soundtrack, maybe. I didn't. It's not. It, I recognize this is a good game, but it's not my type of game. But uh, so I put it in C, but because I like the soundtrack so much, I'll put it in B. That's it. I I did have a lot of fun, also because I had the fun moments with this game. I, somehow I really enjoyed playing this game for like three or four or five streams. So I had a good time with it, but I'm not gonna put it like up here because I I, I personally didn't enjoy it that much. Didn't play Firewatch by the way. Uh, Helix One was like fine, the B I guess. It's a very short game, but it was fun. Like, C maybe. <laughs> It was fun, but it wasn't that fun. It's fine. It's okay. See, Ob above some nothing for sure, but like, yeah, sure. It's a cool and archy game, but it's not very fun to play. It's like you experience it, and that's it. And there's like whatever. Environment is actually alpha. This is also actually above stage fire. This is probably going to be on top of everything. This game is amazing. Environment station alpha. If you don't know what it is, just fucking go buy the game and play it. It's insane. It's a Metroidvania. Uh. That has like a lot of cool puzzles in it, and a lot of cool post-game content, and just a lot of good like my type of stuff. It's made by the same guys, or made by by one of the guys behind uh, Noita, Hempoli, and uh, the game is amazing. And he's streaming devlog of this of the sequel to this now, uh, which I'm really excited for. So when ESA 2 comes out, I'm definitely gonna play that. How's Subnautica and see it here if you haven't played the game? I have I have played Subnautica. This is a this is a common misconception. I have I have played the game. I just didn't stream games when I did it. Like th I played this game before I started streaming. And I hated it, but I also loved it because it was like did some things well, but then it was scary and underwater and yeah. But I played it. I played it. Not uh, like here. That's good. Not as good. Good game. Not as good as Spire. Not as good as ESA, but it's good. I th I feel like I've said enough about Noita. Noita has like a lot of weird things going on. The one thing bad about Noita is that it doesn't feel finished. Like it feels like they had a, it. Feel, Noita feels like a concept almost. It doesn't feel like a, a real game. It feels like a concept. It's really weird to say it, but like there's so many things. Like, I don't know. I really don't know, dude. It's 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 a. Uh, it does feel finished. <laughs> finished. It's funny. No, but it's like. Uh, I feel like it's just missing some like core things. Uh, but it also doesn't. It's really weird. It's just a very strange game. There's like a bunch of things haphazardly put, put together. And it's really fun. And there's a lot of cool secrets, but they're also really weird and dumb. <laughs> but it's a good experience. I, I personally enjoyed it a lot. It's what's called a sandbox game. Kind of. Sort of. I don't really know how to form, how to like articulate wh my thoughts about Noita because it's like there's, there's like something weird about it. Um, for example, 
I guess like I can give you one example. Uh, Noita right now is in a state where it's very far from where it was when it came out. Noita came out a long, long time ago. And now they added a lot of stuff to the game, a lot of items to the game, a lot of puzzles to do in the game. Like a lot of like late game, late, late, late game stuff you can do. And you need a lot of tools to be able to achieve those things. But you can only carry four ones. And you can only carry so many spells. So, they have like polluted the pools of available things far beyond what it once was. But the amount you can carry is the same. Uh, and that feels like it's like the game has literally outgrown itself. In in one sense. So now it notice to me it's like in a weird state where like every run you're just hoarding a million things around because you, you could potentially need everything and it's just it, it it goes down to my like gripe with inventory management in games where like I actually hate invent I like my my biggest complaint about Subnautica, I didn't mention it, but it's actually my biggest complaint because it would actually it would uh it would prove my point right now. It's inventory management. And actually, that's true though, I just forgot about it. I for I have, I've, it's like, uh, forgotten about because it was so traumatizing, blah blah blah. Fuck inventory management in every game. It's horrible. No matter how you implement inventory management, unless it is in fucking Backpack Hero, it's always shit. I hate it. I if you took every survival game, every like game like this, and gave the player twice the carry capacity, the game would literally just be better. It would actually just be a better game. That's it. I hate inventory management. It's the most like stupid game mechanic that is like uh, normalized now. I, I it's so stupid. Let me carry your items. I want to try them. You idiot developer. Uh, yeah. So that's that's like one ex example of the game. I I, there, there, I have many examples because I played the game for a thousand hours basically. But like yeah, uh, that's one of them. It's just it's just, the game has just a lot of weird stuff going on. But and, it, and it's like. You, when you play Noita, you go through so many stages of like what your goal is. Your goal is first, I want to be, I want to see how far I can get. I want to, I want to beat the game. I want to do the secrets. I want to do the secrets from the secrets. I want to do parallel worlds. I want to do uh, make a sun. I want to do thirty four orb. Like the more you play, the deeper into the fucking Noita spiral you go. Like it's, it's the, the game has so much content for you if you want to do it. Uh, but at the same time, achieving some of those things is really stupid and annoying. Like for example, breaking real machines feels like a like a fucking chore. I hate it. Whatever. Don't starve. Uh, hey, this game is really good. I don't like the way it progresses in that it's very it's very focused on survival and inventory management that I hate. I, I fucking hate inventory management. There's so many games here, and this game too. Stop it. But with, me, it, with these games, you can just install mods. For don't starve, it's solo mod. Make chests have three times the capacity. Epic. So it's fine. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, this is good. It's a solid game, but the progression is a bit boring. Like the the way you you don't get stronger as a character, you just get like it's kind of like like Minecraft, where like you 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 defeat uh, the ultra doomslayer of hell uh, as a boss, the ancient fucking uh, uh, what is it called uh, the ancient uh, the beast of doom, the calamity of the world, and then you get like a a way to grow bee wax, like. You don't get you don't get anything cool from it. You just get you just get like a way to grow fucking potatoes. So that's like yeah, the the way you progress is a bit annoying to me, and the the inventory management is, is a bit annoying. But you can mod that out, I guess. You can mod a lot of things in it, but the base game is it's a lot of fun with friends, although very very stressful compared to many other games. Like this is a game. This game is not a fun time. You invite friends to play, absolutely not. They're going to hate it, and you're going to choke each other to death. Uh, like I did with Santi in Spain, so. It's, but it's fun though. I I like it kind of. I I kind of like it. I don't like it. But whatever. It's it's fine. Total principle is like a. Yeah, good. I like this more than that. Good puzzle game. Good puzzle game. Good secrets. Uh, good. Uh, good story. The, the writing in Total principle is really good. This is just a 3D puzzle solver game that I played on stream recently and got like zero viewers while doing it. But I really did enjoy the game regardless, and I play it off stream sometimes now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's very good, and I can't wait to play the second. I, I haven't had the time to get around to that yet. I will, I will play the second game though. But I probably won't stream the second game because no one wants to watch that shit. Like, apparently. Um. Anyways, maybe I'll just stream it. Anyways, maybe I should stream it. Maybe I should stream the second one. It's just, just it just released. I don't know. Whatever. Bloodborne is like kind of D tier. It's kind of shit. Didn't like it. Oh, it sucked. Uh, Terraria. Yeah, it's like up here. It's up here. It's epic. I don't have to say much about Terraria, right? Like, it's just good. It's a good game.
I played Terraria since I, when I, when Terraria was like not even finished yet, and like Red and Blue was making devlogs. I was playing Terraria. When Blue was still a developer of the game, I played Terraria, and I've been playing it occasionally ever since then, and again and again and again and again and again, with friends, with mods, and stream off stream. Like it's just been an amazing game. Uh, so I'm really, really, really like that game. Got a lot of I got a lot of bang for my buck, let's just say. Bro, the second part is is on hype. Should play it this year, maybe. Yeah, I guess I should. Uh, no, Bloodborne is, is uh, that's a joke, by the way. It's like it's like B or A, I guess. It's like I guess A. It's like down here on A. It was it was fine. I just didn't like that much. I think it's B. Out of no, you have to like I have to be honest. I have to be brutally honest with you guys. It's not that good. It's fine. It has cool aesthetics. It has cool uh, a lot of stuff. But fuck fuck farming. First of all, fuck farming blood vials. And like your consumables and shit, and uh, fuck the chalice dungeons. They were really fucking boring and un unrewarding. Uh, fuck like half the mechanics of this game, man. It's sh such a fucking shit Souls game. I don't like it at all. It's like, it's it's my worst Souls game. It's so bad. But it's a cool environment though. It's a cool environment and and shit and and like the when there's like this boss. Uh. Uh, wait, shit. Scream! Turn it up. <laughs> this boss screaming was so cool. Music to my ears. It sounded so brutal. <laughs> That's the one thing I remember from that game. It's like, damn, this guy is crazy. <laughs> the, the furry boss. He was so he was so sick. And the first scat here is the dun darkest dungeon. Fuck this game. I hate this game. This game should, this game should never be made. Fuck this game. This shit. It goes- that's, I'm gonna leave dark, this darkest dungeon as, as the only game in scat here. It's so bad. Horrible. Fuck it. Enter the dungeon. Uh, low S. High A. Uh, I don't want to put it in the same tier as- No, it's definitely not as good as these four. Absolutely not. But it's better than uh, Don't Starve. And not as good as Talos. Yeah, that's, a, that's I feel like that's a good spot for it. Quality game. Uh, but the- uh, It's again, it's very much like- It's basically Isaac and Nuclear Throne, I guess. Combined. Where you you, you go down into the cellar and you get guns. It's very gun themed. The, uh, the, the art style and, and like stylization of this game in general is so fucking cute. The way they have turned everything into like guns and bullets and all that shit is like so well realized that I, you have to just appreciate even that aspect of the game. Even if you don't like the genre, uh, it's super, it's super nice. It's just very well and like the sound design, the music track, everything is 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 like on point. It's so fucking on point. But like the gameplay and the gameplay itself is like super like sweaty and like uh, just really tight. Really good bullet hell. Yeah, I, I guess I put it over Talos. Now that I remember it. Yeah, it's it's, it's really really good. But uh, the way you the way you like gain power with your character feels very unsatisfying. I think the way you like get stronger feels very unsatisfying. That's the one thing I don't like about the game. Like you get you open a chest and your gun the new gun you get is like worse. It, you you will open you will spend a valuable key on a chest and get a gun that it's worse than your fucking starting crossbow, dude. It's so it's so stupid. So that you you oh, every time you get something new in this game you feel scammed where you get like a side ray or something worse or maybe maybe something better with fucking two bullets you may, maybe you'll get a good better gun from a boss or from a chest and you shoot it two times and you have nothing so it's like it's it's annoying like it's just a, and it's a very frustrating game Hollow Knight is also up here boom not as good as Terraria but it's pretty good rock like not nearly as good as Adventures is good game. Good game, but uh, but dude, it's so good. Uh, but a lot of it feels like slop. Like uh, a lot of like it's so big that you can tell that they spent so much time trying to make a lot that they didn't make a lot of it good. It's like some of the zones are a bit ass. Uh, all of the enemies have the same design, which I feel like was a bit boring. They were all bugs. Like it was just meh. Um, don't like the art style of this this game at all. It's it looks like shit in my opinion. But uh, it's a fun game though. It feels good to play. And the the path of pain was really funny, so I'll give it a high. I'll give it a S tier for that. How did this list by run end? I won, of course I won. Bug enemies, bug enemies. Yeah, I just I just, I just think the enemies looked boring, man. 
And the art style really annoyed me because it looked annoying and like stupid and read it. I just <laughs> didn't like the art style at all. I just didn't like I, I I value art style. That's why I like Fortnite, not PUBG. So when things looks when things look good, they look good. When they look like Fall Knight, they look like scat. That's how it goes. I wanna be the boshi is like B. Or high B. At least I played this game compared to these two. At least I played it. I I, I enjoyed this game. That's good. This is like a mock-up game. Like, I want to be the guy and all those, but it's a very good one. It's a very well done one, which is like a bunch of cool stuff. But it also has E-Rapes, so it goes to the lobby. This game has, under one has E-Rapes. Like, like, fucking jump scare E-Rapes. So this goes, actually, it goes to C. Fuck this game. Uh... Yeah, this is not that good. It's like, it just, yeah, it's also, it's obviously it's way too hard, and it has jump scares. So I don't like it, I don't like that. Fuck you. When you when you save at this game, the save point like shoots a bullet that one shots you and says "fuck you." <laughs> like it's just the game is just out to get you at every every like step. Uh, one shot. This game is low A. I guess I liked it more than Don't Starve. Yeah, this is like this is like comparable. That's good. This is basically Undertale, but with a cat character as your main character in like a weird world or some shit. Uh, but it's like, it's fine. It's it has a really yeah it's it's cool. It was it was like good until you do like the extra ending, kind of. It has like this extra ending that requires some like steps. Once you beat the game one time, you can do like an extra thing, and then if you do that, uh, you will get like a lot of like this this like whole fucking crazy story arc in the game that explains way too much and has no uh, restraint. It just it just info dumps so much lore about the game that there's no mystery left. Uh, if you do the extra ending for this game, but until then, it, when they when on the first ending when the game leaves a lot, a lot to your imagination, then the game is actually a lot of good, like really good. And it has it has some really cool puzzles. There are some really cool puzzles. Uh, this is a little bit of a spoiler, but there's there's one puzzle in the game that does something I haven't I haven't seen before, where it says uh, you, you take like a a, a, a film. Like a, a picture or something, and it says you need to drag it into the void or put the the, the tape into the void to see what, to reveal what it says. And then you need to take the window and put take it out of your screen. And when you put it, pull it back, it has the text on it. Like <laughs> that's pretty cool. That was a pretty cool puzzle. I like that. Um, but I, I'm guessing like 99% of the pro players googled it. They just googled it. So, but I I think it was cool. Smudges, thank you for the sub. And Juju stream, thank you for the sub. I have, I have alerts muted while I'm talking so much right now. Sorry about that. Because I don't want to be cut off while I'm talking. Uh, Jack the Snake, thank you for the sub. Fallout New Vegas is epic. Uh, Obsidian made for a lot of games. It's better than this, it's better than, better than this. Uh, it's better than Terraria, it's better than Noita. It's up here. Yeah, it's like, it's my, it's the, it's the one good Fallout game except for one. Like Fallout 1, Fallout 2, Fallout New Vegas, those are the good ones, basically. Everything else is kind of scat. But this one is really good. And yes, I'm not just saying that, I did actually play them. I played Fallout 1 or 2 uh, during Christmas one time, and it was fucking epic. Good times. My tattoo is acting up. It feels like... Feels like it's burning. My arm is on fire. Epic. Yeah, this game is good. Good writing, uh, good music. Uh, good music because it borrows music from Fallout 1 and 2. Uh, and also otherwise. Um... Combat is ass, but that's every Bethesda game. But the writing is really cool, the side quests are really cool and interesting. The DLCs are great. Um, yeah. It has a really good modding community. A lot of uh, big, natural, bouncy breasts. And uh, Futakok mods, so this game goes into S tier. I think. Anyways. Yeah, uh, Dark Souls 3. I guess like hi here, there I guess yeah it's it's, it's fine. It's okay. This is a it's just a very Dark Souls game that plays it very safe. It's fine. I mean it's better. It's, do we put it down here? It's like yeah. Am I being too nice to some of these games? What is D tier gonna be used for? I 
the story is definitely not A, you're right about that. I think it's like, yeah, it's like down here, actually. That's gonna... Yeah, the, but I, I put it here because, like, now I have the context of these games in B tier. So, now, yeah, that just goes below there, for sure. This has to be below Bloodborne and Dark Souls, for sure. And Dream World also goes below that. Fucking... That's just more accurate. Yeah. I think Bloodborne is, is like a boring Souls game, but it's still a Souls game. So Souls games are always going to be good, to some extent. Papers, Please was like... C... Yeah, C tier. It's like fine, but like, yeah. Yeah. High C. Where's Wasteland 3? I don't think this was added to the list. I, I didn't stream Wasteland 3, so... That's probably, the, that's probably why. Didn't play Goose Game. Papers, Please was like short fun, kind of. But like, kind of stressful short fun. Yeah. What the fuck is Darkest Dungeon in a scat you maggot? Because it's a shit game, Elias, and I hate it. And I never want to play it again. And I wish only the worst for the way ones who created that game. Fuck that game, it's horrible. Uh, many misfortunes upon you. Hotline Miami was the city here. I think it was a bit boring. Yeah, it's like here. With some to go. But that there even, yeah. I didn't like that game. It was okay. But it, I just I just don't like the gameplay, it was just boring. It's just a boring game. I know some people probably like the game. I, I just I just personally didn't fancy the game. Like it's maybe I didn't say it was a bad game. I, I just personally found it boring. Where's Apex here? Because I played it. Fortnite is here also, I think. Fortnite is like down here or something. Fortnite is here, I know that for a fact, but I can't see where it's where it is. Anyways, Apex uh, was cool. Here? There? Better than Papers, for sure. Yeah, I probably like up here. Apex was fun. I've never played it since, but yeah, it was fun. Apex is dog now. Yeah, I'm sure Apex is shit now, but I only played it when it came out for like a month or two, and it was fun. I liked it. What do you want? Rate the Halo with the mod. B. A. A. Maybe A. Low A. Something like that. People don't realize how right you are about the Rex Dungeon. The game isn't fair to the player in a way that's anti-fun. Yeah, I guess that then it's just like a... It's just like an anti-fun game. It's just literally an anti-fun game. If you, This is like Stockholm Syndrome game. It's so shit. Put something in D tier? Well, if I put something in D tier, then Darkest Dungeon looks a little bit better. But if you have like everything else is C, B, and A, and like M tier below, and then Scat tier with Darkest Dungeon, that emphasizes how much I hate this game. So that's, I feel like it's a good choice. Uh, Halo 2 is good. It's like low A. Yeah. Good. Uh, better, than, better than that. Better than the one shot, for sure. Like here, yeah. yeah like hi, 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 hi. Halo 2 was epic. That's a good game. Needs no introduction, it's Halo 2. It's just a good game. I had a, I had a ton of fun with it as a, as a literal child. Is our caves of cut and everything here? I don't know, we'll see. Inscription is here. Hotline Miami 2 is here for some reason, I haven't played that. But I'm assu I assume so. Here's all the games. Screenshot it if you want. Uh, Dark Souls 1. Hmm. High B. Yeah. Yeah, it's the, it's the first game that I played, so I had a lot of fun with it. But uh, the PvP is shit, and uh, the uh, second half of the game is a bit boring, but it's good. Really good uh, early game, a mid game. Like a lot. Yeah, hi, hi, B, hi, B. Omori. It was actually so boring, I didn't finish it. The combat was ass. This can be the first D tier, sure. Yeah, here we go. I like the music of this game, it has good music, but like, the, bo the gameplay was so boring. And I didn't care about the characters at all. And it had jump scares. It had jump scares, the characters was like... Well, I, I guess they were fine, but like... The, bo the, the, the combat system, the combat system was so boring, dude. I swear to god. I feel I feel like this, this game would be better as like a visual novel, because the gameplay is so bad. Like, the gameplay in Omori is so shit, you just make it a visual novel. I know you're trying to be Undertale, but like, it's, it's so bad. It's so boring. Why bother? Didn't play this. Barely. I, I played it a little bit. Deceive him. Thank you for the bitch. 
Uh, Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yeah, this goes high. This goes high up. This goes ah, dude. No, it just doesn't go in high heavy plate. It goes like high up here. This goes S. Yeah, I think it goes S. But more than a Hollow Knight, actually. Yeah, it's up there, for sure. Speaking of Hollow Knight, it goes, it goes down, down here, eight here, for sure. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, S. It's a very good game. The, 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 like, the, like, effort has been put into the characters in this game, and the, the mechanics and everything is, is, is extremely, like, high. Um, every character feels like they are that character. You know how, like, in, in, uh, in a lot of the Smash clones, the characters are just, like, added to the game, and they don't, they don't, like, apart from looking like the character visually, they don't really feel like that character for the most part. In Smash Ultimate, they feel, look, and act and behave, and have mannerisms of that character to... Such a fucking pre like precision. It's super well done. Everything about this game is super well done. Like it's just tight. Uh, I don't care about the, the local like single player mode. I barely touched it except for like some some dust lock stuff, light lock. Uh, but the the, the 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 PvP is just so good. It's very it's a very polished game. So it's uh it's 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 a uh, S tier, low S tier, but S tier, sure. Gang Beast, I played like two times. It was fine. It was like down here. It's like, okay. It's like fun one time when you're drunk. That's, that's it. You, you play this drunk one time and you never touch it again. It's one of those games. Basically. Let's see. Not even, I saw D. It's like, it's a, it is genuinely a fun time the one time you play it, but it's like, yeah. Uh, meh. Rain World. Uh, high B? Not A, no. High B. I enjoyed those more for sure. I put it there. Yeah, that's fine. Rainbow is a game that doesn't want you to play it. Basically, it's like, uh, yeah, it hates you. Doesn't want you to play it. Doesn't want to be figured out. <laughs> it has big scary fish. Um, has some cool ideas, but. Yeah, it's very unintuitive. I don't like the movement of the game. Except for when you play the, uh, like, explosive cat. A lot of the time, um, you're just, like, waiting. Like, if you're trying to get from A to B and explore, uh, the enemies can be, like, really annoying and just, like, wait for you to... And just wait and stall you out. Your the rain comes and you're fucked. Like, it's just so stupid. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't like that part of the game. It was, it was like, an annoying game. Uh, it's a very cool, well, like, well-realized world, and the, the lore is, like, very cool and shit, but, like, the gameplay, the game itself is, like, meh. Rainbow is, like, a, again, that's as cool as a concept, but you don't play it as long as this guy did. Yeah, basically. You will have friends telling you it's the best game of all time, and then you play it, and you hate it, and you just like uninstall the thing and refund it, basically. Like, <laughs> you're not gonna have much fun playing the game if you just try it blindly, like, so seriously. You, you have to be a very special type of- it's a very special type of niche that is not exactly me. Yeah. Not really. Do you ever look up the lore? Yeah. Yeah, that is. Oh gosh, golly, an albino tier list. I'm sure there will be no controversial takes and chat will be civil. True, true, actually, Calypso. I don't even know the name of this game. Yakuza Zero, I didn't play it. Play it. Monster Train was like... <sighs> D? D here? D it is D tier, I didn't like Monster Train. Didn't like it, didn't fancy it. It was like, yeah, down here. Better than Mori, but like, meh. Because of the art style. Because of the art style, it goes down here. Sorry. No. It's just, it's just an ugly game, and they, they, it's, it, I'm sure it has some cool gameplay and whatnot, but like, the, yeah, the, the, the oh. visual vomit, yeah, true. <laughs> god, it looks so ugly. <laughs> My god. Rogue Legacy was good. This was a good game. I liked, I liked the bonus bosses you do after you beat the game. It's high B. Yeah. It has it has meta progression. I don't like like it has like this thing where you you when you do your runs you get money and you spend the money upgrading yourself outside of the game, and you're expected to do that. So like it makes meta progression like a part of the game, but I don't like that. So it's like, eh. 
However, it has some challenge bosses later in the game uh, that don't take that into account. They are just like a set challenge, and those are really fun. Did you play the second one? Yeah, second one was fun. It was like, yeah, fine. It wasn't amazing, but it was fun. Fun for a bit. Uh, Oberdin not played yet, uh, Fury not played yet, uh, Undertale is S tier as fuck dude Up here, this game is so good I love Undertale That game, uh, I played it before I was like, uh, even a, like basically before I was a YouTuber I think I think I was like starting making like PUBG videos or something But I played it when it came out uh, And like Donkey made a video on it or something and then I was like, oh, that game looks cool, I guess. I guess I'll, I guess I'll try it out. I play it, I get like the whole thing, epic Reddit ending. That was fun. I get the, uh, like, genocide ending that was, like, insane. And then I was, like, super into the game. The lore was cool and shit, and everything made sense, and, like, it was great. Uh, yeah. No, it was just, uh, and, and, like, every soundtrack was a fucking mega banger. Uh, yeah, like, every... It, the, 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 the developer had like good restraint in what it tells you, what it doesn't tell you, so you like, it's like a perfect amount of mystery in the characters and shit. Uh, I liked it a lot. Cool game. And a really fun bu bullet hell in the end, if you go for the, if you go for the, like, uh, evil ending. Uh, the, the bullet hells are really fun. You're excited for Deltarune? No, Deltarune, Deltarune is just like... Deltarune is like, just Reddit. I don't like it. Like, I just don't like that rune. Like, the soundtracks and, uh, and stuff are good, uh, but it's just so fucking reddit. I can't deal with it, man. It's just mega reddit. And the bosses aren't even hard. Spamton was piss easy. The clown was, like, a little bit hard, I guess. But the Spamton was, like, a fucking pushover. And then, yeah... <laughs> I don't know. None of the story seems to make sense. Maybe it, it, if in the following chapters they will be good, but, like, now they're a bit boring. Sans is the only hard boss. Well, t when you are at that point, yeah, he's the he's the biggest difficulty spike because like you thought Undyne was hard, and she was Undyne was hard, like somewhat hard. And not if you played Guitar Hero, uh, but she was hard. And then and then comes Sans and just fucking wrecks you. That was like a, like really cool. I, I liked I liked Sans. That Sans boss fight was like a really good fight. So I wish like I know that that Tobik can make a hard boss fight and make it fun like he did with Sans, and present it well. But he hasn't done it since, uh, since Sans, I feel like. Jester was like, okay, or, or Jeevil was like, okay. Like, he was, uh, fine, I guess, but... Eh, not the same, not the same. We'll see in the later chapters. It's a bit difficult to say that, but we aren't even rating Yudalter, we're rating Undertale, so... <laughs> Anyways, Helix 2 didn't finish. I got bored of it. I guess it goes D, but I, I, I can't put it there if I don't know what it has to offer. Sekiro is the best Souls game. It goes in like, like high A. This is a really good game. Sekiro goes like here. It's the best one, dude. Uh, like, like, uh, it, like in terms of uh, of uh, mechanics, it's the best one for sure. Really epic game. But you only play it one time and you're done. It has no, it's no, no, literally zero reaper value basically, uh, and you play it one time. So that's, it's fun. When, it's, when you play it you, it, you enjoy it. And it's good. I liked it. Had a good time. The bosses were really cool. The... The... Stealth is really cool. Because... Okay, so like, the reason I put it so high is because it has the mechanic... And it has a mechanic that, that Lies of P uses, which is why I like, like, like Lies of P so much. Is because it has deflecting. Where like, in, in Dark... In Elden Ring, a big complaint that I have is that... Bosses do like a million attacks and you can't do anything while you're doing that, other than just like sit back and watch. In Sekiro, you can! You can deflect the parry this at the perfect time. And then you do posture damage to them. And then uh, they get molested. That's how you kill the boss. You do posture damage, mo for the most part. So, you are more active in the gameplay. You don't sit back and watch the boss do like... Fucking backflip and uh, school fuck. You just, you know, kill him. So I liked that a lot. Um, but yeah. Good, good game, good game. Minecraft. Here, Minecraft. There. I like more than Don't Starve. I like more than Rain World. I like more than Rain World. I like it more than Dark Souls. That's about how, that's that's about how much I like it though. It's like there, yeah. Vanilla Minecraft is fun. It has a lot of 
cool stuff, but it's not like epic. It's like, yeah, with, with, a, with a good SMP with like some good friends, it's a good, very good time, honestly. Obviously playing it alone is garbage. <laughs> Once a year, SMP, play it until you beat Elder and Dragon and some stuff, until someone gets griefed. And, by the way, Minecraft has a fond place in my heart, because back in the day when multiplayer was just released for the game, because in the beginning when we played Minecraft, it was like on the alpha version, and we had to sit in a Skype call, and we were telling each other about what we were experiencing in the game, because there was no multiplayer yet. And then the multiplayer came around, and uh, I was sitting on my laptop, Crouching under a person's house with like invisibility and uh, I, I don't know if I'd invis but you can't see you can't see like name tags to ground If you crouch you can't see name tags to ground So I was like he went to go mine I went into his house I put uh, like 10 TNT under his house and I put a pressure plate in the door <laughs> And then <laughs> I, he, he like goes into the house and it's like a Looney Tunes fucking episode where this entire thing disappears It just goes into the fucking air. It's gone <laughs> and I hear, hear the voice like, DUDE! What the fuck? Albino! You fucking dog! Blah 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 And then, for every time, every time they entered their house, ever, they were looking for pressure plates. Like, is the pressure plate there? I see it like one time, because they got so paranoid because of me. <laughs> They're like, BLAAAAAT! Every time they go into their house, they are like digging their floors up to look for TNT. <laughs> so I like, it fucking traumatized them in Minecraft. So that was like a lot of fun. And also, there was one time, uh, we had a- this is actually, it's gonna sound like the most fake story ever. But it genuinely did happen. At some point in Minecraft, in multiplayer, there was a dupe bug, where you can duplicate things in chests. Uh, because netcode was shit. Like, like, crap. And I was at a LAN party at, like, a, some random school. It was hosted, like, there was, like, 50 people at the LAN party. And then, uh, they have, like, this creative competition, where you go into, like, creative mode or some stuff. And you are supposed to make the coolest thing in the server. Now, the first thing I do is that I go into the into the caves. I get some iron. I make a bucket. I get a bucket of lava. I don't know why, but it's just like how I play the game. So I get a bucket. I got a bucket of lava. And then I, I, one of the admins spawns like or like comes next to me. So I kill him with lava. I, I pour lava onto the admin, and he didn't have creative mode or like god mode on, so he just died. <laughs> and then the guy drops. What does he drop? A stack of TNT. He drops, he drops like not a stack, but like maybe like twelve. So I take twelve TNT. And normally you can't get TNT because guess what? The server doesn't have enemies because there are no creepers. Now I have TNT because I killed the admin with uh, with lava bucket. So now I have the TNT, and also I duplicated them all into the fucking in the chest. So I got like bing 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 stack 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 stack. Now I have a million TNT. <laughs> And then, I go around looking for, where have people built things to, for their competition? Hmm. <laughs> so I go around into the server, and I just fucking, like, Hamas every building in the server. I blow it the fuck up, it, it's turned into a parking lot, where people have built stuff. It just exploded away. And what I built? I built a pixel art of Mario from Super Mario World. <laughs> That's what I built. I bought a little piece of shit pixel art that I followed like, a guide on Google how to make. And then I was like, ah, I'm gonna win the competition, I'm gonna win the keyboard. But uh, it turns out that one guy had made like some piece of shit like two fucking million chunks away. And that got the winner. It was just, <laughs> so it was like a, a pixel art Mario and a million creators. And then like one piece of shit back in the middle of the woods. <laughs> and he won, so tough luck. We'll get him next time. But that was a really fun, uh, fun thing. <laughs> that was a good time. New 4 hour part video about Half-Life 3, but Half-Life 3 isn't real. Anyways, uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna watch it now, it's like, it's like 9. I'm not, I don't have time to watch that, actually. Super Meat Boy haven't played it yet. Uh, I will play it soon though, then we'll have a, my official review of the game. Drifter, Hyperlife Drifter was fine? Yeah, it has a cool soundtrack. Hyperlife Drifter has a cool soundtrack, some cool combat. Uh, I keep forgetting it exists. It was fine. It was good. I didn't like re enjoy it that much though. But I played I played it one time. I tried to play it another time, but I got bored. It's like it's like like it's like here. It's like there, I guess. It's fine. 
It's better than Rogue Legacy, for sure, yeah. Yeah, put it there. Yeah, something like something like that, I feel, is, is correct. It's a good game, it's good, but it's not, yeah. Yeah, Minecraft, Minecraft is better, Minecraft is better. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 there we go. Minecraft is definitely better than Hyper Drifter. Yeah, true, true. Fortnite, a little S tier, absolutely. It's gonna go like up here. Fucking Fortnite is so good. Yeah, Fortnite. <laughs> oh, ironically, oh, ironically, Fortnite is so good though. Fortnite is such a good game, like for real. They, 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 they. Career Maker, uh, and they are the best battle royale that's ever been. Never been anything better. It's like the perfect battle royale. And now they are adding a lot of stuff to the game, like Lego, uh, like survival mode, which is cool, um, which is actually like it has potential. Right now it's crap, but it's, it has potential. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's good. Really cool. Uh, uh, like the art style is really good. It is a. It was the first. I, I believe it was the first battle royale to have a color palette other than brown and like gray. Like it was the first to actually look not look like crap. That was a big deal to me. And I have like good sound design. I remember the first time I dropped the Fortnite. I heard, I dropped out. They're like Poof, and when you drop down, like it's such a cool like ambience. And you have like the night time that's like all like fucking purple with like a night sky with the moon on it and everything. It like looks so sick. Um, yeah, for sure. Better than Terraria. Fuck Terraria. This is more, so much better. So much better, dude. Uh, Dark Souls 2? Uh, but it's better than Dark Souls 1 and 3. It's good. Really good PvP in that game. Yeah, I like it. But the, the, the main game is like sort of mid, but the DLCs are, are great. Um... The PvP is amazing. Uh, it's just very well balanced. You also stream, yeah, yeah. I also, I also threw like about uh, <laughs> like five business days worth of corrosive urns on the Starva when I played that. It was a really fun time. Um, his teeth never recovered. Yeah, no, it was, it was Dark Souls 2 was good. I feel like. I had a lot. Of, I have a lot of fond memories playing this game. A lot of a lot of fun things. Let's, let's just say a lot of fun things happen when I play, when I play this. Good, good, good times. Um, no, but for real though, I feel like the, the genuinely, like no jokes. The PvP in this game was really fun. Uh, like, yeah. Duels, duel. Uh, it's the only Souls game I would say where like duels are fun, as opposed to like sandbox, like isometric PvP, right? Where like. Uh, in most of these games, the the, the 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 PvP is so like basic that you need the isometric like uh, level like, sandbox stuff going on to make it like engaging. Um, but Dark Souls Two doesn't kind of doesn't need that because the the PvP is actually good. But uh, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty funny. You can also mega parry with great swords. But when when you land that, it's just it's just so good. I love it. Hi, Ostara, by the way. Hi. Ostara, my favorite streamer, even though I don't watch Dead by Daylight. As I, uh, Starva, I swear to God, if you just didn't play Dead by Daylight all the time, I would watch you so much, dude. <laughs> you're like such a, you're such a good streamer that plays the worst game ever. It's so sad. It's so sad. Like it's, man. Oh, it's like when your favorite streamer becomes like a league streamer or something. It's like. <laughs> Anyways. Unless you like you, he likes money. <laughs> don't worry, I don't think it's about the money. Uh, don't worry, I'll play some weird ass Finnish game with three downloads on Steam for you next time. Thanks, yeah. You should. You should. I'm sure your Dead by Daylight fanbase would like that. Like, I, I know you play other games too, but like, yeah, I, I just, I'm just saying, man. Uh, it's <laughs> not, not my game. I tried! I tried, I tried the game, but yeah. Oh well. Where's going to? Where do you, where do you put this game? What, how do you, how do you compare them to the others? Man, I gotta, I gotta like, I gotta sit down and like write a review for every game on this list because I have so many thoughts about them. Holy, there's so many more to go. <laughs> Oof. Damn, this is a landmine, like a minefield of a tier list I'm making right here. Well, this community was good, but it wasn't amazing. 
they made the they made like a two D game into three D and it went it went really well. But at the same time, the game never felt fe felt finished. And then they added a lot of new stuff to the game, and it feels like a bit weird. Uh, like the yeah, I, I, shit, dude. I haven't played the newest updates though, so I don't I don't know what they're what they're like at the moment. It's a fun time. It's a fun game for sure. It has a lot of good stuff going about it. You get broken. You get like two FPS. You kill everything in one click. You have a lot of builds to like to you know try out. Uh, it, 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 it two as printers, scrappers and printers. That's that's like a step above the first game, I guess. You can you have like some say in what items you get without using the the command. That's cool. So there's like some strategy to it. Like what items do I scrap to, to hope for a printer? Like yeah, you know you got some things things going here. Yeah, why not? Uh, so that I really appreciate that about the game. Um, who reported though? I feel like my ba my my beat here is gonna be so fat, dude. But I guess that's fine. I'll put it there. I'll put it there. At some point, I might have to bump up the Souls games. Honestly, I'll have to bump these up at some point. But that is, that time has not come yet. This is the problem. Whenever I put something here, I'm like, "Well, did I like it more than Drifter? Yeah, I did. Did I like it more than Rogue Legacy? Yeah, I did. Did I like it more than Dark Souls 2? No. We're we're adjusting this right here. We're going uh, behind the. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's more like it. Okay, now it seems more a bit accurate. Soul Series got a promotion. Blasphemous. I didn't finish it. Didn't didn't feel for the game. Sorry, Spain. It's not my cup of game. It was. Uh, the if the story made sense, I'm not. I'm not from Spain. I don't know what any of it means. I don't know. I tried. Couldn't get into it. I tried like three times to enjoy this game. Couldn't get into it. Sad, but uh, yeah, it's 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 like it has a very beautiful pixel art. Uh, yeah, just like really cool art style and shit. Cool presentation, cool music, great, right? But the gameplay felt like a bit boring, a bit sluggish. But nah, the the story was made no sense whatsoever, uh, unless you're like a Spanish Catholic. So I I don't I don't know. Uh, Spelunky Two is the perfect sequel. I've never seen a sequel be done better than this game. It's it's just Spelunky 1, but epic. Literally, it's Spelunky 1, but epic. That's it. Expands upon everything in the game. Makes it better. Adds a lot of cool secrets. Really fun. Really... Well, I think it's fun, anyways. Most people probably don't, but I think it's fun. Good game. One of the roguelikes of all time, for real. Yeah, it's good. Like, low S. Better than 8 here, but not, like, as good as Fortnite. <laughs> not even close! That'll be close, as good as Fortnite. Lamelon is high A. I'm sorry, chat. You probably expected this to go higher, but Lamelon is high A. It's really good. I like it a lot. But good lord, the first game is too convoluted and its translation is bad. <laughs> it has so it has a lot of good puzzles, but it has like it has a lot of good puzzles. Like really good puzzles. Like fucking sick good puzzles. But so many shit puzzles too. Like a lot of the puzzles in this game is like it's basically it's like a, a Metroidvania. Focused entirely about lore and puzzles like the combat is just there for you to have something to punch at but the the main focus is you read uh, Clues and you solve riddles in a in like a a Dungeon uh, that's the entire game and I love it. That's amazing But some of the puzzles do not make any sense in this game. It's very rough Did you go on a podcast saying this game was so keen you want level on three? Yeah, I do want level on three But Elskand, there's a big problem Yes, and that is that I'm putting this low so I can put Ah, level 2 in S because it's better <laughs> It's the same game but better level on but epic puzzles are better Everything is better It's a little bit the same thing puzzle puzzle dungeon game really good soundtrack really good art style really good everything Just Boss fights are good combat is better uh Puzzles are really epic. Yeah. Lona. Good, 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 good game. Second one is, is definitely good. I think, like, playing this first game is, like, uh... I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. It's so fucking brutally hard. Like, a lot of the... A lot of the steps in the game don't make any sense. Because it's, like... 
one of the persons in the game, there's a boss called Anubis, and uh, he is immortal. To kill Anubis, you need the Book of the Dead. Now, you get the Book of the Dead. Can we, can we, like, I'm gonna go open up here. So here's the fucking hell. Oh. oh, okay, so... Zoom the fucking... Anubis is immortal. Right, that's the problem. Solution is... First... <laughs> meet Anubis and escape. Talk to NPC you have already made met. For s just that NPC just knows, they just know. So here, they just know. And then, just gives you solution outright. <laughs> you can now kill Anubis. That's it. That's it. What? What the fuck? That's the puzzle. You just do you meet Anubis, you leave, you just leave, and then you go talk to a woman, and then she's like, "Oh yeah, uh, that guy is immortal." As if you had, because uh, there's no dialogue options. It's not like, it's not like, "Hello, goodbye, I want to ask about something." There's nothing like that. It's just like you go into her room, and she will say a random phrase, and then you just leave again. You don't have a dialogue. You just go in, and then she talks, and you leave. So like, you don't like assume. That, uh, you're gonna have, like, she's gonna provide any, like, specific information ever. But she does. So when you, when you meet Anubis and leave, and then go out and, and just talk to her for some fucking reason, then, you know, you should get some book of that. So it's like, uh, I, I, that, that, it's, there, there's, there's more, there, there's more than this. Like, the mantras, for example, are really stupid. Ugh. Yeah, nah, I, eh. But it's, it's, that's why it's not S-tier, because that's some dumb shit like that. Bye bye, see you, it's, uh... Yeah, see. Yeah, see. It's, it's not my game. It's a puzzle game, it's a really well-made puzzle game, it's a really cute puzzle game, it's an epic puzzle game. But it's not my puzzle game. I didn't like it that much. I just didn't like it that much. Like, I, I didn't... I, I liked it, but I didn't, and like... Deep dive into it and like love it. It was like fun for a bit. It was fun for a bit. It's like a game you play like on your Switch when you're on a flight to Finland. Like it's fine, but it's not like amazing or anything. Very cool. The soundtrack is amazing though. The soundtrack is really really good. Uh, Tilt the Majala played it for like two hours. Not gonna rate it. We just go down, go down here. Risk of Rain. Uh, I'm gonna rate this as Risk of Rain Returns. I think. This is gonna be a screen returns, unless it's on the list. I don't think it is. It shouldn't be. Uh, that's like... I think they're the same game. They're just 2D and 3D. I think I think 2D is slightly better, but like they're the same thing. It is on the list, and then, then I'll just put it somewhere else, because there's no point in rating them. They're the same game, but... Oh, it's, it's here. So I guess I'll just put this here, because this game is like irrelevant now. Sure. It's just, it's just, it's just, they're the same. They're literally the same game, but 2D and 3D. Like, just some differences, but like... I, I really like the uh, the uh, Providence Trials, like the challenges of this game. They were really fun. Annoying. I said a lot of mean things when I did them because I got mad. But I, don't, I didn't mean that. I was just mad. Uh, but they were fun. I was having fun. I, I just like... I, when I get mad, I just say things. Like, I, I love I love my country. I love my city. But when the when when it's been nice snow for like for for two months and suddenly we get fucking rain, I'm going to say a lot of mean things about this place, man. I'm going to complain about it. I'm going to act like I hate it here, but I'm actually totally fine. Like it's just I like I just complain. I just complain a lot. That's it. Same thing with this game. Like when it's annoying, it's really annoying, but I still enjoy the game. <laughs> it's a good game. Demon Souls. When I said Sekiro was the best, uh, I was correct, but Demon's Souls is uh, basically the same. They're, they're up here. These are, these are epic. Uh, Demon's Souls was like a Souls game. That, the first Souls game that was actually experimenting with stuff. Adding a lot of like cool gimmick bosses. And I still, I still genuinely believe the best boss for a Souls game is the gimmick boss. Okay. That's the best. 
because they, they aren't like try hard sweat challenges. It's like a puzzle you gotta solve in the environment, in the way the boss behaves, in like, you have to like use your brain instead of being like, oh, I'm going to memorize the pattern and just like, you know, grind it for two hours. You just, you know, you you, you, you do a thing. Like with the, with the false, false idol, you have to like find the correct one, there's landmines, blah blah, like there's some stuff going on there, you gotta also gotta solve that, solve that there's like a guy resurrecting here all the time, like it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, with the... Um, uh, who was who was the other uh, fucking? Uh, oh, did I forget the boss? God damn! Uh, Tower Knight. The Tower Knight was cool. Yeah, you go around. You gotta take out the archers first. You gotta hit him in the legs, make him fall over, and then you can do the damage. Yeah, like stuff like that. The, the armored spider being a—it's also a gimmick boss. Like, they're cool. I like them. Found you through Lies of P and surprised to find g games from games that low. Oh right, yeah. But that's because, uh, by the way, welcome Nicholas. Uh, I can't believe someone found me through Lies of P. <laughs> Those streams were doing horrible, but thank you. Basically, Lies of P. If I could put Lies of P here, I would put it over Sekiro. Like I would, I would put Lies of P over Souls games because I think it's better. I think it does what Souls does, but better. Uh, the only thing that is now downside with Lies of P is that it's linear. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, it's just that I'm used to it not being that, so I, it feels a bit weird, like, change is bad, XD. Uh, but I think Lies of P is the most, like, mechanically sound from game, or from soft game, that from soft has ever made. Except they didn't make it, like, <laughs> I, I don't know how to put it, it's just a very, 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 very good, like, well-balanced game. And it feels great to play, it feels, the combat feels amazing. I really like Lies of P, it's amazing. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just it's just balanced. It's just good. The game is balanced because I'm one-shotting everything with a wrench. <laughs> uh, true. Underrail. I, do I have too many S tiers? I swear to God, I have too many S tiers. But this all made it to buy. I I, I have a top the top twenty-five games list, and these are all on it. Underrail is up here. Probably over my now. Over Spelunky, over this, over this, over this, over this, over this, over uh, here. Yeah, probably there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, the underrail. There it is. Okay. Underrail. Underrail is a uh, is a top-down CRPG, much like the original Fallout's. Uh, looks exactly like the original Fallout's. Plays better than the original Fallout's. Has a really cool combat system. Really, okay, like, not like necessarily like cool or or groundbreaking combat system, but a very solid combat system, and uh, a really really interesting world. Really interesting lore. Really interesting characters, and uh, yeah, it's just, it's uh, Suffering Underground, I love it. it. It has a huge payoff in the end, if you play the, your cards right. It's, it's, it has re really, really, really good soundtrack, made by an asshole. Um, yeah, I, I, I really like that game. Underrail next to Undertale? Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> Underrail is better than Undertale, there we go. Undertale and S tier, what's wrong with you? Even F tier is too high for that shit. How? Undertale is re Undertale is genuinely a really good game, man. Just because you don't like, you know, fan art of fat fartic forest doesn't mean that Undertale is a bad game. It's a good game. It's uh, solid. F well, well presented, good game, and it takes very good advantage of being the medium that it is, which is a video game. I like it a lot. Undertale's dialogue makes makes my skin crawl. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny. I think Papyrus is funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe maybe I'm like too Reddit. I'm too like yeah. I'm a boomer. Fuck it. Uh, Neil White. I didn't finish Neil White, but I still think it's a good game. You can go with like. Uh, no. Yeah. It's like it's like a C, high C. Yeah. The dialogue of this game is shit, but you can skip it, so it's fine. The gameplay is tight, and it has a it has a friend leaderboard. It has a friend leaderboard, so you can like. Beat your friend's score, and then they will be like, "Oh, that's like," and and, and like, you know, tell them, and then they get. Then you have like this competition going where they beat you, you beat your friend, your friend beats you, and then you like round your scores up like that because they're always shown, and then like you're competing for who has the highest like uh, time on every every like map. That was a lot of fun. I I liked that a lot. That was like, uh, yeah, I appreciated that about the game, the competitiveness of it, and the gameplay was just tight. The music music was really good. It was made by Machine Girl, 
which is a really like one of my favorite artists. Uh, epic. But the dialogue was cr was crap. So <laughs> rip, rip, rip and piss. Uh, Valheim was epic. Valheim is a solid survival game with friends. Yeah, this is just a solid game. It's a bit scuffed. It's a bit sluggish, but that's like who cares? Like it's just part of it's like part of the balance, I guess. Um, it's fun. It's not S for sure. It's like A. It's a very it's a very well done game. We can go like low A, sure. A solo solo Valheim. I will say if you play this game solo, it's it's not good. If you if you play this game solo, it goes down to D tier. This now it's it's in scat tier actually. Play this game alone, it's it's dog shit. But if you play it with friends, it's fine. It's good. Don't play this game solo. You need friends to play this. I'm sorry. There's no way around that. But if you play it with friends, it's fine. It's fun. Better than Minecraft, TM. Nothing else to say about this game? Thoughts about Valheim? Base building is good. Enemy design is cool. The the, progr the this game nails progression really well. The ga the way you progress this game is really cool. It has a it has a very interesting and cool progression, right? You where you yeah where you locate bosses and the boss you locate might be really far away. So you gotta go to this like long tr like adventure with your boat and shit to get there. You basically go on like these quests to 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 like go to new biomes and just go to the boss and like it. It's just a really really fun loop. I think it's a very like unique uh, way of doing it that I like a lot. That they just came up with. If you go to the wrong biome, you get the shit kicked in. Yeah, of course. You go to you go to grasslands or like uh, where the fae or whatever are that you get molested. Like they're so. <laughs> Yeah. One shot is low A. That's low, 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 low A. I think now that I have more context to other games, it's, it's it's like this whenever I make a tier list that like, I like having them ordered within the tiers. And when I see when I get the context of like, well, did I really did I like one shot more than Dark Souls? Like maybe not. No, I don't think it did. So it's going down here with Below Rave World. Okay, that seems more accurate. Yeah. I didn't enjoy the game that much, but it was good. It was good. A B tier is still good, by the way. Hades, though, by the, by the way, is, is like low B, maybe C, yeah, here. Ah, B, B tier B, low B, low B. It was okay, it was mid, though. Like, the art style is good, the dialogue was annoying. Uh, the gameplay was fun. And then you beat the game once, and there's no more to it. Like, yeah, I, I, I've been spoiled. I've been, at this point, when I play Hades, I was pretty early in, like, my roguelike, like, exploration. So I, I was used to Isaac, and to the Gungeon, uh... Whatever else there is. And then I was like, well, I beat the game once, so where's the, like, next layer? Where's the next layer of hell that I can go to? But there was none. You just kill Hades and you win. It's like, that's, that's it. And the, the game was barely a challenge at that point. So, like... Yeah. And, and all of the upgrades you got was, like, side grades. And you couldn't really go that far with it. And, like... Eh. Eh. I don't know. It was, like, fine, I guess. But it... it yeah, the, the, repl the replayability was very low. Also, it had like a, one of my pet peeves with roguelikes, which is it, it has like meta progression where like you 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 grind, you grind points. It it's it's yeah, it you grind points to get stronger. So that when you meet the boss you've struggled with, you beat it not because you've been you've gotten better at the game. You beat it because you had higher numbers. So you beat the boss much earlier than you should have because like now you you basically cannot lose anymore. So that's like yeah, I don't like that at all. It's a roguelike for people who don't like roguelikes. That's it. Celeste was uh, good. Good platformer. High B. Yeah. It's a good platformer. I don't know what else to say about the game. The dialogue was really annoying and cringe, but uh, the soundtrack was good. And uh, it was a good platformer. Epic. Not much more to say about that. That was it. Witness was C. There. Yeah, fuck this game. This game, uh, it's like a puzzle game, and it it, it, it really overstays its welcome, and there's some really stupid puzzles, it's like, stupid, I don't know. Yeah, it just, I, I, it's, it's, 
I don't know. It's just it's it's just some really dumb shit in it. Like, yeah, I didn't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. Northern Journey. There, Hi B. Hi B. It's good. Not A, not A, not S, but Hi B. Hi B. It's good. It's a it's a, a super super unique game. Um, it's really cool. It, it, the game backseats you and holds your hand a lot. Everything in the game has to offer is obligatory, and the game nags you to get it, which is a bit annoying. But it has a really, it has a really cool, like, cool like atmosphere and enemy designs, and yeah, writing in the game is like clearly broken Norwegian into English, <laughs> which is kind of cute. The game literally tells you where to go, yeah, at every point, which is a bit like, yeah. Uh, Zelda, is that Breath of the Wild? Breath of the Wild, I think it is, yeah. This is so it's, it's so hard to race Breath of the Wild. How the fuck do you do that? Because the game is like, it introduced a really cool system with potential, and then Nintendo just botched it. Like, it's not detailed, by the way. I'm just like, looking where to put it. Because it's like, yeah, it has a really, it's a, it's a really unique game, but it, it, it added too much, too much space, and there's no content to fill the space. And all the shrines are like, the, the exploration when you when you get out of the, your like where where Link is standing on the picture here when you get out of your chamber and you see the world and shit and you go exploring it and you find a Hinox you find a Taurus stone you find a Linel you find like all these bosses all around the place it's like dude oh my god this game has so much shit and I haven't even tried the dungeons yet by the way there's no dungeons and and also those are the only three enemy varieties you will see the entire game except for Pokeblitz and Moblins like uh, you've seen everything basically so like. You have this huge expectations for the game, and it all goes into the toilet. So it's like it's like fucking sick when you first get it, and then it is shit. Uh, so it's like C or like high C, I guess. It's good, but like not. Uh. Yeah, it's also on the Switch. Cringe. Delta Rune. Uh, like lobby. Yeah. Yeah, it's like Reddit Undertale. I just didn't fancy it that much. It's not a finished story. It's not even finished yet. There's no conclusion to it. It's just a fever dream in like play Toyland. But it has some really cool assets, some cool soundtracks, some cool boss fights, some cool. Uh, yeah, eh. I see. I put it here. Fuck it. I'll put it there. Didn't didn't like it too much. Uh, Member two didn't play. Inscription. Uh, where the hell did I put that? It was fine. See, high C, sure. Yeah, it was fine. I only played it one time, and you, you don't have to. You, you don't get to play it more than one time. Uh, but do I raise it higher? Or higher than rain, but rainbow should go lower. I guess it's like here, maybe. Yeah, low, low B, low B. Better than Hades, better than that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. There. It feels more comfortable because it's better than these games. Yeah, sure. Sure. Not A, no. No. Somewhere in B though. Ultra Kill, that's an A game, sure. That's that's the high A. Yep. Super solid FPS game, old boomer shooter with just good mechanics, good secrets, good uh, writing, good everything. Good, good game. Yeah. Maybe once it's finished, it will go to Epic, but for now, it is where it is. It's good. Good, satisfying. I like it. Quite a lot. A is 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 really good, by the way. Like. <laughs> Not everything can be S tier, chat. Everhood uh, was... Ivy? Here? Everhood is not a rhythm game. I, w I just want to make it very clear that this is not a rhythm game at all. It's a bullet hell. Um, yeah. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah, high B is still good. 
Great OST, great art, cool uh, lore and concept and shit, but like, uh, yeah. That's it. Good. Ever just great OST, yeah. Yeah, it's just a solid game. Not much to say about that. Anything else? No. The, the, the world building of this game is very interesting. I like it a lot. Yeah. I'm not gonna spoil it for anyone, but yeah, it's, it's good. Spelunky 1! Uh, lobby? I didn't enjoy this game that much, I'm gonna be honest. More than World, more than Hades. Barely. Barely, barely. Yeah, there. There, there, there we go. Splunky is still good, but uh, not that good. I, I think I, be I Have I beaten this game even? Have, have I, like, finished the game? I think I did all make once, but I, I never did, like, hell or anything, because it was like, eh. Eh. Can she, um... Kenshi is really cool, but it doesn't have to have much, like... It has, like, Kenshi is a weird case, because it has, like, all of these, like, weird environments, but, like... There isn't really that much in them? Like, it has this, like, uh... Cool, like, like crazy structures and shit, like, super weird alien environment, but, like... There was, like, kind of nothing there, really. It feels like. You have to make your own goals. Yeah, but I didn't... Yeah, eh. There just wasn't much to do there. Other than like, well, your goal is... What's your goal? Well, your goal is to kill the religious people. Okay, well... You know, that's everyone's goal. And getting, getting there is super, like, grindy. It's very grindy. Very, very grindy game. Yeah, everyone wants to kill a religious faction, because the religion factions are assholes, they just tax you. Fuck those guys. So I want to I want to er eradicate them, to avoid taxes. But I uh, never got around to it, because it was so grindy. Anyways, uh, yeah, it goes like... like more than that, sure, yeah. Yeah, like here? Kenshi can be there. It's, it's, it's a comfortable spot for Kenshi. It's good, but it's not like... I played it. I played this game a fuck ton when I played it, but then I got bored of it. Suddenly, it's like done. Brutal orchestra, dude, that's here. There, here. I gotta boost this up a little bit. But like, just go here. Let's go there. A very good game. Very good game. Epic game, even. That's why it's next to Fortnite. Uh. Yeah, this game is just like the art, the, the art and everything of the game. The the, the, the art, the, the art stuff, like the the, the 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 graphics, the soundtrack, the fucking enemy design, the monster design, just in general, the character design, uh, the final boss of the game. Like the he, this game has the best like the best like uh, final boss in a game that I've seen like in so long. The awesome and cynics in this game is so sick. Like, conceptually, and just like how he's to, to fight against. It's such a sick boss. I really, really like him. I, in the beginning, I didn't like him because he was like a bit like, like random. But that's like part of the, the like, his, his thing. Um, the fact that like, he, the, the one random move is like the scariest thing in the entire game. Sort of. The uncertainty of it. Uh, was like pretty cool. Um, no, this is a very solid game. It's not like it's it's a roguelike, but it it's like not that replayable. I feel like it's like, uh, yeah, a lot of the characters that are like added to the game are like shit. <laughs> you, you get Hans, and you get like uh, uh, what's this guy who, who who has like the plus on his face? Griffith, Hans Griffith, uh, the steam the steam guy, like the turtle with steam going out of him. It's like really good. Like, you get those optimized characters, and it's like, damn, those are epic. And then you unlock, like, a bunch of other characters, and they're like, damn, they're all shit. Uh, so you don't want to play them. So, fuck that. Pearl is, all yeah, Pearl is fine, I feel like. Pearl is okay. But, uh, and, and, uh, Burnout is good now, he got buffed a bit. But yeah, like, a lot of the characters are just ass. A lot of them are just shit, unfortunately. But the game is really, really cool. Like, the, the, this game, like, takes... 
when it comes to enemy design, this game takes the fucking cake. Like, there's no, there's no game with better enemy, enemy design than this game. It's the coolest enemy design I've seen in any game. It's so sick. Uh, and like the, how they are presented, because they all, a lot of the enemies in this game have their own soundtrack. Like every enemy has their own soundtrack, basically, which is really cool. Um, not not only the bosses, but like yeah, the enemies too, which is funny. I really liked it. I like the one German boss. <laughs> yeah, the German boss is a cool soundtrack too. Really cool soundtrack with the trumpets. Starbound uh, didn't ever get good. I feel like did Starbound ever get good? It kind of didn't. It it could have been, but it never did. Only mods make it decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically. I think go C actually, yeah. It should, it should go C. It's, it's C, this is still fine. It's just, it just didn't. The game had like a cool potential, but it, like, I guess it didn't really go anywhere. I think, I feel like they just like over scoped the game. It was, it, the game had just too much scope or something. I don't know. It's it's weird to like pinpoint exactly what went, what went wrong with Starbound, but it's just like, it was never focused on anything in particular. Uh, so it's it's in a very it was and it ended up in a really weird spot where it tried to do everywhere everything. It was a development hell. Read about it, really. You know. It Why Starbound sucks? Uh, because it has been in development for at least four years, and this is in 2016, and it barely has anything to show for it. Only significant additions uh, over the years have been outposts, which serves almost no purpose anymore except for killing your frame rate. The colonies essentially are just highly impractical custom villages, and generic story and story missions that that it could do without. That's it. Beyond that, it's just minor additions that Relogic or Mojang dish out with a single update. Personally, my biggest disappointment was the progressively added generated stuff. I think it's fair to say that. It was Starbound's main feature back when it was first revealed, but that's barely evolved at all. In fact, I get the feeling that there's less variety now that th than there was back in 2013. At least as far as plans and enemies go. Uh, I helped kickstart Starbound and I was... I put in many hours uh, when it first released in Alpha or whatever they call it. In more than three years since, the game has covered almost no distance. They built in a bunch of fun content and scrapped it and added uh, incredible shit ships, the outposts and some dull 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 quests. To rub salt into the wound, it runs like an utter garbage on, my, on many a PC. So in almost four years, there's been little to no progress. It, uh, it's upsetting. I remember thinking this. This will be the one time to pick up Terraria's mantle. Instead, we got a buggy, content light, poorly balanced mess. Huh. Yeah. What, what, what has happened? Where has this game been, man? What's up with Starband, actually? What, what the hell is going on with this? Because I have it. What is the... Who, who, who are behind this game? Very post Chucklefish made it. They published uh, Reese of Rain too. Wow. 2019 at the peak. <laughs> Oi. Hmm. Here we go, let's read this. I actually want to know what's, what the fuck is going on. Uh, TLDR, I love this game, but if you want to enjoy it, you'll need to mod it to hell and back. It's bland and clunky, and, and if you don't, good luck finding a way to enjoy playing the story. It's the world longest fetch quests that end in a clunky boss fights. You shouldn't have to mod the game for, from the get-go for it to be enjoyable. The interface is saying that all of my hours in this game were after the 1.0 update. Uh, okay. How long is it? Oh my god, it's pretty long. I can't, I can't zoom. Okay, epic. Uh, if you're interested in learning it, I'd recommend watching the video by YouTuber called The Good Trash. But if you want a quick recap, here it is. The Good Trash. Huh. 
Is it that small that I can't even find this video by googling it? Wow. <laughs> I guess I'll read it though. <laughs> the leading developers just scammed a lot of people and made them work for free under false pretense that he would hire them. Most of them were just adding random shit to the game too. Oh. <laughs> this is the video. This is literally just a guy. <laughs> wow. Purple position. Much more adventure and survival based game where each biome has unique enemies and each enemy drops unique materials and these unique materials have to be collected to progress to the game you were able to it's the green screen too that's the green screen blocks, and that's not okay villager because when <laughs> by adventuring and finding new things do what what is this two years ago <laughs> do we watch this <laughs> i'll just read it I'll, I'll read the recap uh okay Let's read the recap. I'm actually interested in, though, in it though. Uh, the game was radically different uh, before release. It was far more sandbox driven. The story didn't really have a grasp on the gameplay. There was a ton of more content. We're talking several cut bosses, biomes, and entire features like the randomly generated monsters were a lot more developed. Unfortunately, the game had no development thorough, uh, development thorough line. If a dev thought of a feature, it was going to be added regardless of how well it would fit. Speaking of the devs, they were abused. Most came out of university and were hired as an intern. This meant that they were paid little to none for their effort. Um, any that's saying anything were berated by the higher-ups, so straight to, or, or straight to quit. This meant that most of the game's code was buggy and optimized in means of spaghetti coding. Uh, the one point out update tried to remedy this by essentially butchering the game into what it is now, which angered the community even more than it was uh, already by the way the devs were treated. Now, for my actual review, the game is art style is gorgeous. For, uh, oh, so this is this is the basically the, the summary of the video. Here's the, he, what he thinks. Uh, the music, uh, yeah, it's top notch. Gameplay wise, mining and general exploration feels great. Building is perhaps the best. There are so many different furniture, blocks, and decorations you can choose from uh, your base. Fighting, however. Oh boy, it is horrible. You can choose between ranged melee later on and magic weaponry. You can craft some in tech in each class, but if you want a worthwhile weapon, you'll have to use that one that is randomly generated. Sure, there's unique weapons that always have fixed the stat based on the planet you're on, but they're very rare and most aren't even worth it. If, uh, you're honestly better off using nothing but fast firing guns uh, with some knockback like a shotgun or something. Most dangerous enemies you'll be fighting are either flying, fa uh, flying, fast moving, or just ranged guy that constantly runs away. <laughs> uh, boss fights aren't much better either. The game will force you to fight these guys if you want to progress the story. And beside from like the bird one, most evolve into a mess. Be it by constantly spawning, min spawning minions, uh, having bad hitboxes, um, or because they have attacks that do, they do off screen eventually in f if fully zoomed out. Even if fully zoomed out. Now, progression and story-wise. The game's progression works in tiers. Every planet has a, has a tier from 1 to 8. Higher tier planets appear to have specific stars, meaning you will have to use your spaceship to get to over there. Uh, however, the big bad of the game... The big bad of the game broke your ship and destroyed Earth, but that's irrelevant. <laughs> so you'll have to at least take part in the story until the first boss to get the chance to progress. After that, the story basically doesn't matter. Seriously, you can just play the game without caring about it, which is honestly a blessing in disguise since always uh, the same formula of please go scan specific objects from these guys go defeat these guys boss please repeat for every race except for humans and the space cowboys it's so disappointing each race has a trope infused but well crafted lore into it so having all of their best quests being fetch quests it feels lazy and finally we're gonna talk about performance okay so who cares about that uh, I can't recommend this game. I love this game, but in the definition of wasted, it is the definition of wasted potential. If you're interested in buying it, I can only recommend you mod it to hell and back. You'll see a lot of people uh, using mod called Fracken Universe. It's essentially its own game, and because uh, and and it's about as omnipresent as the Calamity mod is in the Terraria community. I personally don't recommend it since it changes so much about uh, the game that there's mods to mod the mod. Personal recommendations? Okay, yeah, right. Good lord. So that's why it's shit. It's because they uh, molested the developers and uh, didn't pay them and uh, fired them. Wow, I had no idea. I just I just assumed that they were just la lazy developers and had no vision for the game. 
But yeah, like the the the, the story, like when it was like I remember playing it when it was like first released to the public in 2013, and uh, it was like I was like, oh yeah, that's potential. You can even like you can import like MIDI tracks and play them on your your instruments and shit. It was really fun, uh, and they had like again enemies that were like stitched together of like many different types and like morphed and like evolved and shit. Uh, it, it had like so many weird things going on, but it wasn't like if they just expanded upon like that sandbox type thing. It would have been good, but like, yeah, the, the story, I did, I did play the story at some point, it was shit, and, <laughs> yeah, fetch, uh, fetch quests, I don't know. Where's the potential? Rip. Rip, rip, rip. Uh, okay, so that's just the starbound. Anyways, PUBG. Uh, it was really good for its time, wasn't it? I had a lot of good time, but I got time for it. Baba G. Um... So many fun memories. Yeah, Hybe. Absolutely. This this game is, is... I think it's much, 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 much worse than Fortnite, but I have I have so many good memories with the game. I have to put it in B. Hi B. Maybe even A? Yeah, just, just because of, like, sentimental value, it's an A. Fuck it. I'll put it there. I really like PUBG. It's fun. What did you put the witness in C? Oh, sorry. Let me put it in D. There we go. Uh, I just didn't like the game. Didn't fancy it. It's overstated. It's welcome. I just didn't like it at all. It was boring, and uh, yeah. Anyways, Cruel Squad. Uh, where the hell do you put Cruel Squad? It is a fun Hitman type game. Sure. It's a it's a really unique game. Like low A. High B. Low A. I guess I can go low A, sure. I didn't like it that much. It's fun, but I didn't like it that much. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It was like it was fine, but like the gameplay wasn't that fun. The lore of the game was really cool, but I didn't realize it was while playing it because it was so like weird and like out there. I didn't understand what was going on, what was real or not. Um but when you look at it afterwards, it's like okay, that makes sense, sure it's cool, but like it was so abstract. But I guess that was like kind of the point, but I didn't get it at the time. Yeah, it, it's it's a good game, it's a solid game, but like it's not like amazing or anything. The gameplay was the, the gameplay isn't that fun. It's not it's not that fun. But uh, there's more to it than the gameplay, so it goes nay. Sure. Now it's try. Funny slop. Fun slop. I liked it. I liked this slop. It can go there. This is a solid platforming game. It it wants to do one thing, it does it right, and that's it. Not not like uh, amazing or anything. Not but not not in no ways bad either. It's just good. Good slop. Good slop. I liked it. Cute little game where you jump around and don't die. Yeah. Didn't play Sifu. Elden Ring. No, no, not scat, not scat. Uh. A. A for Elden Ring. For Elden Ring. Your first playthrough is amazing. Incredibly bad. Fucking insane. First playthrough. And then it's not. Yeah. Really good game. Really good game. But it's not a game you can play more than once, really. Kind of, unless you do, unless you like doing challenge runs like me or mods. We are gonna do uh, when convergence is like nearing completion. I'll do a, I'll do a mod playthrough of it. Uh, speaking of how I ah oh, twisting my arm hurts so much because of that fucking tattoo. Good lord. Uh, Elden Ring convergence. Where's like a patch notes for this? Accept. One point. It's it's in one point oh. Is it uh, is it done, or is it still like an alpha? One point four soon. Okay. 
So I don't think they're I don't think they're done with it. Carson Druid made the logo. He's a good he's a good artist. He drew some uh, stuff for me back in the day. Cool. Uh, yeah, I I I I think I'll wait for this one. But yeah, uh, I want to play. Eventually, I'm gonna play this. But I've been I've been intentionally waiting for a long time to play this because like this mod needs time to to like uh, you know ferment. I'm not gonna play it when it's like two more. I'm not gonna play this when it has like two fucking features. I want it to be like more, a complete package. Otherwise, there's no point. Explain what this. It's a. It's just a convergence. It's just a mod that like rebalances Elden Ring and like add a bunch, adds a bunch of new items, adds a bunch of new spells, probably new enemies, new bosses, like the usual. It's just like a content mod that's like an overhaul for the game, uh, and the, usually it is good. So, yeah. Cool. Friday Night Funkin. Uh, scat. Seriously, it's shit. It's like the worst rhythm game I played in my life. It fucking sucks. Uh. Maybe it's different now, but when I played it, every every song I played basically was like out of tune, like it was like out of rhythm. So like the or the, so like the the, the 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 maps, the like charts were like off beat. Um. Yeah, like, and it only has it only has four buttons. Uh, it was just a mess, man. It was just a mess. But it's not as bad as Darkest Dungeon. You know what's for buttons? It's the arrow keys? No, it's not. Look. Then explain this. Okay, four buttons, explain. One, two, three, four, five. What? Do you mean it's five? It's supposed to be five, idiot. I don't care about the keyboard. I play it with the guitar. Oh. oh my god. Okay, I need to get water. Why is the Rickers Dungeon that bad? Uh, the game just like punishes you constantly for no reason. It's just really an annoying game. It's just a, such an annoying game. Like everything in the game is just like designed to be annoying. You know how like I complain about like in every survival game that survival is annoying because of like it has arbitrary like inventory limits and storage co container limits and like a bunch of like inconveniences that are just there to just like disguise themselves as gameplay. The that's the entirety of Darkest Dungeon. That's the entire game. That's all it is. It's just inconvenience after inconvenience after inconvenience. It's just like, where's the fun? Anyways, I need to get some water. One sec. Darkest Dungeon is about trying to minimize bad RNG so you don't get fucked in the ass that hard. It's kind of like XCOM in that way. Yeah. Uh, I personally just didn't like it. I didn't enjoy it at all. Uh, so that's why it's low. Rogue Legacy 2. Uh, was it better than the first game? Was it? Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. 
They're the same game. This one has like a more another zone. It has five zones, right? It gets slightly better, more content, no? I think they're about. They're the same game. They're the same. You know what? I'm gonna rate them the exact same. This is this. This is like the Rogue Legacy. ETR. They're the same. They're nothing different. They're the same thing. So this is goes like a bit higher than this one, but they're basically the same. Kingdom Hearts. Um, I tried replaying it. I have really fond memories of like how this game goes from like. It goes from like familiar stuff in the beginning, where it's like, oh, you're on an island, and it's like this JRPG type shit. And then you meet fucking Donald and Goofy and Mickey Mouse. It's like, what? Then you meet Final Fantasy characters, like, it's just making any sense. And nothing in the game makes sense except you want to get your, your, like, girl back so you can get some pussy. And then you go across the fucking universe for her, and you don't really find her or whatever, and then... There's just so much wild shit happening in this game, so much wild shit. And the uh, soundtrack is crazy, super good. Uh, the combat is, like, f fine, I guess, a bit clunky, but sure, it's fine. Uh... It's solid. It's a solid game. Yeah, I like it. And and, and, and towards the end, the, the game gets like really messed up. Like Final Fantasy is scuffed, fucked up, deep, dark fantasy, crazy shit. Low A. I liked it. I, I really liked the game. Uh, the second game is, is like a million times better, but yeah, the first game is good. But, but uh, like looking back at it, when I played it, the dialogue was like insanely cringe. Super cringe. But like... Other than that, like fun, fun, fun memories. Arlcraft. Where's Minecraft? Where is Minecraft? Here, they're the same. Arlcraft is three steps forward and three steps back. Same thing. Both are just as fun, I think. Yeah. It's just it adds a bunch of it adds a bunch of stuff to the game, but that's too much stuff, and it's also way too hard for no reason. Uh. It, yeah, uh, it's it's fun, but like, yeah. Three steps off a fucking cliff, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, then you land on a trampoline and get back up again. <laughs> it's just it's so weird. It's so weird. It, it's a fun experience. All, like, listen, B tier is big, and it's not as, as like, crazy as like A or S, but like, all of these, I like, every game on this list, more or less, until you get down into like, D and, and S cat tier, I would recommend playing. All of these in C tier, I would recommend playing. Like, trying them out. Uh, B tier, everything you should play, definitely. It's all good. So the calamity, dude. It's the same as Terraria. Let's look up here. Yeah, I think Terraria. I think Vedal Terraria. This is better. Or like, yeah, yeah. Because they added the mechanical bosses in the end, I'm gonna put it down here. They added like, yeah, that fucking stupid bosses, like, yeah, Radons, uh, morons. You haven't played Katana yet. Zero, my god. Yeah, that's why it's haven't played yet. <laughs> that's why it says haven't played! XMX, yeah, because of the XMX, this goes with Loas. Uh, I Also, someone asked about Omori. Uh, Omori is a game that I think is a, would be good as a visual novel. Uh, as it is right now, the game is like... The story is probably f interesting. I didn't finish it. Uh, because the gameplay was so boring. The combat was boring. The gameplay was boring. You just walk around and click on stuff. It could have just been a visual novel, man. It would save some time. I would just I would love to read the game and see what's going on, but I wouldn't want to play that shit. Anyways, uh, Kurt, Kurt of the Lamb is Hades. Where's Hades? Yeah, same thing. Uh, roguelike for people who don't like roguelikes. Sure. But now they added sex. It goes higher. Boom. You can't fuck uh, the hot woman in this, but you can fuck the hot sheep in this. Big bonus point for that. Isaac. S tier. The best roguelike I've ever played, probably. Right? Yeah, probably. It was there. Yeah, this is actually solid. I feel like. Yeah, well, Isaac just, Isaac just has, has so much shit. It has so much shit. Dude. So much stuff to do in the game. Solid gameplay. Really cool items. Cool that your character turns into stuff. The, th the themes are funny. Uh, it's just a fun game. It's fun, fun time. Slither Spire is a roguelike though. Yeah, but Slither Spire is Slither Spire. You know, it's how it is. You can't beat it. Slither Spire is like its own thing. Slither Spire is like what envi 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 Environmental Station Alpha is for Metroidvanias. 
I might put the Metrovania here and say like, oh, this is the best Metro Metrovania I've ever played. But that's because Environmental Station Alpha has ascended fucking Metrovania, dude. Because it's above that. And same as the Aspire, it's above being a card game and a roguelike. It's just fucking epic. That's why they're up here. Best games ever. Lethal Company is in uh, 8 tier up here. It's fucking good. I like it. I, I really am excited to see what this game has to offer. It's like the best horror game I've played in my life. It's so good. Really an uh, cool enemy designs. Uh, really fun multiplayer. It allows you to have separate voice sliders for your friends in the game. For that, I'm actually going to bump it over Ultra Kill. Thank you. Thank you, Seekers, for adding that. I really appreciate it. Because of that setting. Seriously, it's such a... such a I value that so much. So much. Yes, it's spooky. It's uh, satisfying. It's... Uh, Imbalanced as of right now, but I'm sure that will be fixed later. Eclipsed, like <laughs> so. Like, they, they, sometimes you just you just are fucked and you cannot do anything about it. But I mean that's part of the fun, no? Like sometimes you just get fucked. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. It's a fun game, fun time, really, really fun time. Those those like four days in a row that I streamed that game, I had so much fun, like, like insane. It was it was really really good. And there's a lot of like small. I think the the success of this game all lies in the small things, like uh, the sound design, the like when the maggot is, is like hiding in the ceiling. It it makes like a boom, like a, it, and it sounds like it, it's actually happening there. The sound effects are good. Uh, what was the one thing I was gonna mention? That I, there was one thing that the game did that, that I feel like other games didn't get right. That or that is kind of taken for granted. What was that? Um... Fuck, dude. Because there was something I noticed about this game that was like, this is good, but it usually isn't this good in games. Usually games get this wrong. Well, yeah, that, that, of course that the gameplay is organic. Everything that's happening is like sandbox horror. In the sense that, like, enemies are descending the way, you have are descending the way, and then it doesn't script anything. It just happens the way it happens, and that's the, that's that. And then you make your own stories, and like it's 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 always like crazy. That's that's really good. But there's again, there's like many small details about the game that make it like the, what it is, and that's what makes it like even better. That's what makes it like go beyond most games. Um, but it it just fuck. I just fucking lost it. I ha I had it. Oh man, this is why you write reviews and you don't like. Ugh. Oh. Just to think them up on the spot. Um, well, of course, the sound design is like a, a major thing. Like, when you are inside, it sounds like you're inside. When you're outside, it sounds like you're outside. When you're in your ship, it sounds like you're in your ship. When you get fucking molested by a maggot, it sounds like you are being molested by a maggot. So, yeah, that is also a thing. Um, the fuck was it? There was something. For, uh, I'm, I'm gonna remember. I'm gonna come up with. I'm gonna like remember it later. But, but right now I can't. I can't for the love of me. For life of me, think what it was. Did you finish Lies of P? Not yet. No. What are we team listening today? Uh, games that I've played. Uh, I forgot the name of the person who sent me this. Can we? Dula sent me this. Faith was uh, not great. Yeah, I'll put it like here. I, I, I enjoyed Faith, Faith less than all of this, actually. It was really boring. Sorry, I just didn't like it. If it was not for me, I did like it. Not for me. Not Not my game. Is this shadow? Is this clear sky? No, fuck. Start your clear sky. Fuck off. That's like scat here. <laughs> no, nope. Uh, uh, I hope there's more historical games in this list. No, we're the only other sc clear sky. What? What? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Weird. Not. No, no. That's that's, that's clear sky. Was not good. Barony was mid. Sit down here. Yeah, sit down here. Sure, sit here. Solid roguelike is just a. 
it does the issue. It has like the usual thing where like in the beginning you're super underpowered, and then when when you go to the late game, there's like literally no challenge, like nothing. You just win. Like outright, you cannot lose when you get to the late game in this game. You get so broken, it's unreal. But yeah, uh, it's, it's fun with friends for a while, but it, 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 when you beat it one time... When you beat this game once, I'll say, when you beat this game a single time, it gets boring. That, that's what's my experience. Haven't played Pizza Tower. Tears of the Kingdom goes way higher. This goes in like 8 tier for sure. Yeah, like up here. This is solid. It was, it's like it's like Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild walks, walks so Tears of the Kingdom could run. Like, it was really good. I haven't finished it yet, but yeah, solid, solid game. Still suffers like from a lot of the same problems as the first game, though. Like, <laughs> the shrines are well, the shrines are a little bit, a little bit better. The shrines are the shrine. Never mind, the shrines are better. The dungeons are half-assed. They're really short and not very like complex or anything. Uh, the story is trash as usual, as always. Um, but like the the you know, and that's the same issue with like their ability being really low and everything breaking immediately. Like if you use a if you use like a if you put a star on a weapon to light up the nearby area, it just breaks, like, after a certain amount of time, it's just so dumb. Like, the game is really stingy with their ability on a lot of things, like, a lot of cool th stuff. Um, and the game runs on a Switch, so it's like, it could be super sick, but it's not because it runs on a piece of toast. So, yeah, it's, it has some problems, but it's, it's still good. Will you see an editing today, or is it just tier list up for today? I, love it. I wanted to finish this li li list and talk about the games. I, I, I don't think I'll do tier list today, because I have like... I don't want to sit here and do this, because it hurts, because I have a tattoo that's fresh. Like, I, I tattooed my arm today, like a huge thing. Eight hour session with a tattoo that's like, entire forearm, shaded and everything. And my it, my arm hurts like a bitch. So I don't want to... If I twist it like this, like, like this, and use keyboard, it really hurts. Um, so that's why I'm doing tier list. Yeah, you can see it, hold up. Uh, here. It's, uh... It's Brutal Orchestral, it's Yeah, it took forever. Took ages. And it really hurt. Is that new? Yeah, I got it today. <laughs> That's why it hurts. It's, uh, it's this. Like, it's literally the picture of the hair on the, on the cover. It's literally a Brutal Orchestra cover. That's it. <laughs> it's, yeah, the, the, the skull with the sc things going down in the circles and shit. Same thing. It, it literally just took the, the art from the from the cover and just made it a tattoo. Because I really like the game and, and like... And, and th th that cover really fit like a tattoo. It, it, just, it just fits really well. And I found an artist up here called R1 Tattoo. And he is really good at this style. So it was just a perfect match. So I was like, yeah, I'll do that. It's mirrored? Yeah, I guess so, sure. <laughs> Who cares if it's fucking mirrored? It goes inwards towards me, so that's like cool, I guess. Anyways, uh, yeah. So that's why we're doing this today. Dead Cells was very mid. F to, to me personally. I, I did not, yeah, I didn't, I didn't enjoy this game that much. Uh, probably, like, down here. I'm, yeah, I, I know a lot of people like this game. I never got into it. I tried and tried and tried and tried. But after beating the game one time, I was like, I don't feel any reason. I don't feel any need to play this game anymore. I did not feel like playing it at all after beating it one time. Like, I just didn't. Uh, so... And to be fair, I did finish the game. Like, but I didn't have that much fun doing it, if that makes sense. Uh, Fear and Hunger 1 is good. Rainbow Tear? Yeah, Rainbow Tear. It's good. It's a very unique, it's a very unique game. These are both, Fear and Hunger has some, a lot of co in common with Rainbow. It's a very unique game, a very unique experience, like a very like experimental type of thing. Uh, but it's not very player friendly. It's not for most people, unless you like get some advice, it's going to be horrible. Um, yeah. It just it just doesn't want you to play it a lot of the time, so I didn't enjoy it that much. It, it felt and, and like saving is is saving is RNG. Whether you get to save or not, I 
That just doesn't sit well with me, man. It doesn't sit well with me that you have to flip a coin to save. Sorry. It's just it, it's a core thing in the game. Fuck that. No. It goes into B tier. Like, there's so many dumb shit with this thing. With this game. But two, Termina is way better. It goes in A. Here. I liked the, two, the second game way more. Way more. It was so good. Not S. It's, it's A, though. Yeah. I don't know. It, 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 it has a really cool, interesting world. It has, uh, like, interesting characters that, that you play and that you interact with. Um, but without, like, a... But without, like, an S-tier ending for the characters... Like, they don't feel that unique to play. If they don't want to achieve- if, if they don't have their own goals to achieve... And there's like a way to, to get there... Then they don't feel that unique as characters. It's, it was like a, such a... It was such a like a define- It was such a character defining thing... That like, they all- they, they have their own goals and that's what they want to achieve. The, mer the, the mercenary wants to get rich... Uh, the woman wants to simp for the guy... Uh, the, the priest wants to become uh, smart... And the uh, fucking uh, tribe man wants to kill shit. They have their own goals. It's cool. So, uh, hey. It was good, but it was not like crazy amazing or anything. I really liked it. I really enjoyed the game. And I really liked the lore of the game. But it was just like, so... It was like... I have to take into account that like, even though the lore of the game, like the sulfur god and all the shit, was like really cool. It was not, like, presented in, like, a comprehensible way unless you are, like, a lore YouTuber. That's that's my issue with the game. Like, it, it, it's very difficult, really far-fetched to put the, the pieces together yourself. Unless you just pick up the goat and coincidentally mold 13 statues of yourself and get some vague lore that you might recognize. Like, right? Okay. It's a bit much to expect to solve the lore of the game. I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> it feels so random. So random to to, to, to uh, make that dialogue prompt happen. Just got here. May I know why Brutal Orchestra is epic tier? I know you liked the game, but I didn't think you liked it that much. I did like it that much. Uh, like, just because I don't keep playing a game forever doesn't mean I don't didn't like it that much. Like, I really, really, really liked Brutal Orchestra. Like, it was fantastic. But the, it, it, it wasn't that replayable to me. And that's fine. It doesn't have to be. Um... But what it had, for the time that it had it, was made such an impression on me that I, it's, like, it's gonna be stuck with me forever. Like, it was peak. The, the, like, pre the presentation of the game, the art and everything was so crazy good that I can't, like, and it had a huge impression on me. And that's why I, I like, um, regard it so high. It was really, really, it's a really cool experience. So that's why, that's why it's here. Now, similarly, uh, Hades, for example, also had a thing where, like, it wasn't very replayable. And that's why one of the reasons I put it pretty low. But the difference between those two is that, well, yeah, well, yeah the art style is really good in Hades, and the dialogue is probably really good in Hades. It didn't connect with me at all. Like, that, I thought it was just, like, slop. <laughs> I just didn't care about the characters. It felt like it was too normy. It was too normy for me. I don't know. I, I just didn't like it. It was too clean and door ah uh, I, I don't know. And it, it and and no actually and and chat it had it had my my literary thing it had a uh, meta progression in a roguelike. That's sorry that's gonna knock you down a couple of tiers. That's how it is. Cuphead I finished the game I think I beat I think I beat the devil at some point but it was like this is such a tryhard fucking sweat game. Really cool art and shit, but like such a tryhard game, man. Sweat it's B, or like high C. I didn't. It, it, I the game is cool and all, but I just didn't enjoy. It. I I didn't. Enjoy, it wasn't satisfying to play the thing. It wasn't that satisfying to play. It's really cool and I like everything about like the art style and shit, but like playing the game felt wrong. That's it. It was unsatisfying. Very not satisfying. Didn't quite like it. Is this returns? Prime Returns, I think it is, yeah. <coughs> Word up with Metroid Prime! It was like one of my childhood defining games, honestly. On the GameCube. 
Good shit. Now, if this was Metroid Prime Echoes, it would probably go high, but it's Metroid Prime, so like B. I can go like with 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 Drifter. It's 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 good. But when I replayed it, it wasn't that fun. It was like fine. Like as an objective standpoint, as an adult, not that good. My memories as a child, huge, mm. amazing game. But now that I've played Environmental Station Alpha and other, but I don't. Do I play Metroidvania? So yeah, Hollow Knight, I guess. I don't feel like I play much Metroidvania, really. Do I? Well, there's, there's, there's. I mean, there's, there's this one, I guess. But I guess I haven't played that much of them. Yeah, but I, I but yeah, like I, I just don't think it's like that. Maybe it's like up here, like. Eh. But it's never gonna be like uh, all that high because it, playing it again, it was kind of boring. Like it, it's dated. It's just a bit dated, really. Dark Souls, hello. Yeah, Dark Souls was like I don't. Should I put them higher? I'll put Dark Souls here. It was my first one. It was my first one. I had to think about it, but it was, was this was my first one. My first old game, I'll put it there. The first one is always the best one. Like, the, always the, 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 it, the first Souls game you play is always gonna have like a certain impression on you. Like, I'll put it there. Uh, Jakey Boy, hello Albino community. I just signed up for a Twitch account and thought I would drop in here to see what the stream is about. We're rating games that I played. Hi, Jakey. Good morning. Hello, Mintikush. Welcome. Uh, <laughs> it has many trash bosses though. Okay, so here's the thing. The bosses you consider trash are probably my favorite bosses. So <laughs> I like Caesar's Discharge. I like Bed of Chaos. Like I, I like Pinwheel. I'm sorry. Like don't, I think they're good. So that's not gonna like mean anything to me. Because they are gimmick bosses and I like gimmick bosses. That's why I put Demon Souls up here because I like Dragon God. You know? I like Dragon God, I like uh, False Idol, I like uh, uh, the Adjudicator, I liked the Armored Spider, the Tower Knight, like they were all good bosses because they were gimmick bosses. Is Pinwheel a gimmick boss? Yes it is. Pinwheel is a gimmick, because you know what the gimmick for Pinwheel is? The, pi the gimmick for Pinwheel is you go human form and summon Paladin Leroy, and that's how that's the, that's the puzzle for the boss. Then Paladin Leroy will give him Giga Omega Anal of Doom and just one shot him with the with his big weapon, with his fat fucking cock. Uh, Outer Wilds is S tier for sure. Where did I put it? I fucking dropped my Outer Wilds. Where did you go? Stop dropping, maggot! Here, these two games are like uh, works of art that I'm never gonna forget. Hi, I found you on YouTube, thanks to the videos. Do you know the game Dungeons of Dreadmore? What do you think about about her? <laughs> Hi, Mr. Royal. Uh, I, I play Dungeons of Dreadmore. It's a really fun game. It's a funny game. Well, uh, it's a funny game? I don't know about the funny game, though. It's a game that I... Yeah, I, I played it a lot. I played it on stream, too, when I was in Spain. Never once finished the game, because it's very grindy. Uh, it's a cool soundtrack. But... I don't know. Something is just off, man. I don't know. It's just a weird. It's a weird. It's a weird case. It's like kind of like Risk of Rain, but your time investment is like ti ten times. You grind your way all the way down to like level nine, and then you get one shot, and you have no idea how you died. Like, <laughs> ugh. And it's one of those games where like you have so many options that you basically just have to like look up guides to get to get a build, which is fine, but like yeah. What about Outer, Outer Wilds DLC? What's your opinion on it? I remember you couldn't play it on stream, so maybe you played it off stream. Uh, I watched Joseph Anderson play it, and it seemed good. Uh, yeah, it was just more of this of, of that type of stuff. I don't think it was like as good as the main game, but I, it's it's impossible for me to say because I played the main game blind, and I didn't play the DLC myself. So like, it's kind of like yeah, I I, I don't know, I, I don't know. I can't really comment on it. It was fun to watch Joseph play it though. Do you think you'll ever play Kingdom Hearts 2 or Clono 2 on stream? Did I did I ever stream Clono at all on stream? 
Did I ever play Clone Wars? It's literally a children's game, but I don't I don't remember if I did. No, I, I played the game, but I don't think I streamed it. I finished I finished Clone Wars 1 on my Switch because I bought the remake. Because I wanted to support them and I wanted to make more Clone Wars games. But I didn't I don't think I streamed it now. Is Tunic here? I think so, yeah. Yeah, Tunic is here for sure. That's also like uh, probably gonna be us. Cool of the inscription is on the list. It's one of the very few games that I can actually focus on since you have art the artism. Can you do the ranking on it? Yeah, it was like it was it's a good game. It's a good game to play one time. It's a good game to play one time, but like yeah, it's I don't know, it, it wasn't like crazy or anything. Bottles get three is down there somewhere. I haven't finished it yet though, so I can't really speak much on it. Oh, but I guess I can. I played the firm out. Oh, here it is, actually, there. <laughs> Where do you put Baldur's Gate? A? a? Yeah, let's put it in A somewhere. Not the Elden Ring, Lamalant. Yeah, like Lamalant here, sure. If this game is this game is so much so much like value for your money, it's fucking crazy. Uh, it's, a, it's a Larian game with, with like Dungeons and Dragons mechanics, like uh, completely. Fun times. Every character wants to fuck you because it's Larian that makes it, um, which is a bit like cringe. Uh, I had to like, I had to like, <laughs> I basically had to call Gale, Gale the F slur to make him fuck off. Like, so it's it's that bad. Like they, they just like suddenly try to molest you in the night. Uh, but um, the gameplay is really solid. Uh, I would recommend playing this solo, although controlling four characters can be a hassle. Playing this with friends for the first time is really annoying because they will like. Some people will probably like do. If you talk to an NPC and try to take in the story, then your friends will be in the background blowing up a fucking hospital, and like you know just doing other stuff, and then you'd miss out on that, and then like it's just wild. So, I, I yeah, play, play this alone really. Like it's not it's good to play with players, or like you can play, you can play you do like a duo playthrough on your second playthrough, but first like probably alone. But yeah. Uh, good, good game though. Like, oh, really good effort. The soundtrack is good. The combat, the combat is really fun. The combat is is okay. Yeah, I like the combat in this game. Really good for one like thing. It it just lets you do shit. It lets you do stupid shit that other games restrict for because like oh it would be unbalanced. Oh it would be unbalanced if I push a boss in, into a fucking pit of doom and they just get one shot. Cry, cry, cry about it. I did it. So you can take like a really difficult encounter and just like push, <laughs> or you can put a, pick a short put person. You can take a short person or a child and throw them down the stairs, or throw them into a pit, or just do whatever you want to them. It's it's I like it a lot. So that, I had a lot of fun with it. BG three good. Uh, Pseudo Regalia was I. You had a very specific criticism of this game. Uh, what was my criticism of this game? You get lost very easily in this game. Uh, the movement is the movement in this game is really good. What was it I said about it? The movement is super tight, but it has nothing in terms of bosses or enemies. Yeah, bosses and enemies are nothing in this game, but the movement is good. So, and they don't have a map in it. No map. No map, bosses and enemies are ass, there's nothing, except for a like, weird final boss at the end. Uh, but yeah, the soundtrack is okay. The soundtrack is okay, but some of the some, some of the soundtracks are annoying, like, it's <laughs> really bad. Anyways, yeah, so Regalia is like, fine. Wait, Farah is funking, go fuck off. Um, it was fun, it was like down here, yeah, sure, it was, it's, it's fine. Coffee the man in Lily. Put it like there, see? Yeah, it was fun. Fun time. It was fine. It was fine. No, it was actually really cringe. It can go like a, It's better than the Mori. It's better than the Mori. And the Monster Train. There we go. That's more accurate. It's better than the Mori, but it's like, yeah. Jump King was not fun. It was that kind of fun? The, the, yeah, no, no, no. The, the main game, the, 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 without DLC, Vanilla Jump King was good. I think Vanilla Jump King is, is good. But the, the, the DLCs were like way too fucking hard though. Good lord, they were way too hard. You can go lobby. Yeah, it's fine. Fun times. 
Turkish Desert 2 didn't play that, only up was... Like, this is slop. This is actually a slop. Let's like see it here. It's a, it's a streamer slop. It's just... Fine. Yeah, it's fine. D. It's so here, I guess. It's not even a game, it's just a joke. We can put it in D. Shogun Shogun has high potential. Really high potential. This game is good. Uh, but uh, right now, the game is in a weird spot where... In between stages, you can get like... You can get like... Plus one damage on the weapon? For, for a price? Or you can get plus two... For the same price. If you're lucky. So it's like... Well, I, I didn't do anything to achieve that, but I, sometimes I get it and sometimes I don't. It's like... Why? That's really annoying. I, it's super annoying. Because it's, it makes it feel like when you don't roll the good upgrades, you are just being fucked. So I, I don't like... That's like the one thing I don't like about Shogun Shodown. It feels like annoying with that. I got sponsored to play it, but I really actually... I really liked it. Uh, the game kind of pushes you... The game kind of pushes you to it. I played with my brother. He fucked Shadow Heart, of course. And my character... I played as a snobby wizard under myself, and Withers essentially called me maiden less at one point because I didn't hook up with anyone. <laughs> nice. I like it when you don't want to fuck any of the like mentally ill characters in Baldur's Gate 3, you get roasted by a dead guy. Nice. Scroll Shaper is slop. I'm not gonna rate this game, it was just a joke. Like, it's, it's just... It's fuck, It's like a joke. It's a joke game! But it's better than the Mori. <laughs> Uh, Lunacid had good potential. This is a, uh, yeah. I recently played Lunacid, it was good. Uh, but it's nice right here. Because the puzzles were nonsensical and stupid. The endings, other than the main ending, were like stupid as fuck to get. Had some really cool elements, but in the end were stupid as fuck. So, here, B. I was, I was about to make a video on it, but then I had to like make other stuff, so I didn't do it. I scrapped that. I have not played the Morik. I know your thought. Can I know your thoughts on it? Yeah, I've said it like three times now, but basically, it's a game that could be a visual novel because the story is probably interesting. But I didn't finish it. I played through a lot of it, but I didn't finish it because the gameplay was really boring and bad. But the story was kind of cool, so that kept me going. So it could be a visual novel. So you just don't play. You just like read or something like that. Anyways, Backpack Hero. I haven't really played enough to say anything about. Case of Cud is a game with potential, but it is randomly generated, which is boring, so it's in lobby. I don't really, yeah, it's just too randomly generated. If the game had a set story, or a set universe, or, or it wasn't so RNG, then I would probably care about it. But like, when everything is random, I, I really, I just don't, I find myself not caring at all. So it's like, it's it's like good, it's like fun for a bit, but it's, it's yeah. Meh. Tunic is here. How high up? I like here, basically. Yeah, I like there. Incredible game. Uh, good secrets. Good puzzles. No complaints. Just a s sick game. The uh, language of the game is way too hard to decipher. I think. Like, way too hard. I didn't like that. It's like AI made this list. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Sorry for disagreeing. Also, hi. Noite tier language. No, Noite is, is easy. Noite is easy to decipher. T tunic is like almost impossible. Look at those letters. They don't make any sense. They have like two parts. Like it's just so crazy. Maggot language. But yeah, it's it's very good. Uh, maybe even like, yeah, I really like the puzzle aspect of it. I think I could put it like here probably, like under tail, right there. Super good. It was, just a, it was just a very well made. I, I, I bought like I bought the a physical copy of the uh, manual for this game because I really like the manual of the game. Good shit. Was that it? No, we got still some more. Haven't played Stardew. Haven't played this. Still Princess. I haven't finished it. Limbo. Uh, a. Limbo is a. It's inside but good. Really cool atmosphere. Really cool music. Really cool art style. Cool puzzles, good platformers. Nothing really, compl no complaints about it, really. It is, it, and it, it's over before it's over season's welcome. It's over when it's time to be over. 
Is Environmental Station Alpha your favorite game ever? Kind of, yeah. I think so. I think it's my favorite game of all time. Probably. It's really good. Really, really good. I never streamed Sunday Parable, did I? No. Then inside is just uh, Limbo, but like not as good, I guess. So we can go like a tier below, like over here. Yeah, like down here. Sure. Same, it's literally the same game, but just not as impactful as this. In my opinion. Sunday Parable. It's funny. It's a funny game. I liked it. It's up here, sure. This is though it's just a unique thing. That, that, that like if you if you if you play something like it, then this is not gonna be good, but if it's if it's if it's if it's your first time playing it, then it's good. Rivers of either, I haven't played it. Okay, that's my finished tier list, dude. What the fuck? Crazy. How hard is the Vermont station station? I'm thinking of playing it. Uh not hard. It's not very hard now. It's a it's a moderately difficult I think anyone can beat this game. More or less. Tenma can beat this game, so you can probably beat it too. This Gullism is not here for some reason. Yeah. What the fuck? I will say This is not something the game tells you, but but after you finish like finish the game, there's more. And that's the part. That that's why I put it here. When you have finished the main story, there's there's more to do, and that's why it's here. That is it. Where's Jet Rider? Jet Rider is not finished. I haven't played the finished game yet. Hype for ESA 2? Yeah, of course. Of course. ESA 2, I am really excited for. And it's, I mean, it's maybe the same guy who made ESA 1. So it's like, he's probably gonna add, like... I, 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 I've, 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 been, I've been at, like... The developers live streams, and I'm I'm so tempted to ask, hey, uh, Hempoli, are you going to add secrets in Environmental Station Alpha Two like you did with the first one? I'm so tempted to ask that, but I don't want to know the answer. I don't want to know it. I don't want to hear it. I want to know. I want to go in. I want to go in. I want to know nothing in going into that game. Nothing at all. Are there any epic games that aren't on this tier list? Yeah, this Elysium would be like. Next to uh, Outer Wilds, like oh, that game was so, dude. This coolism is like the most like. It's gonna sound so gay, but it was like the most like beautiful game I've ever played. It was so that's just a pretty game. I really really liked that game. That was so good. The writing, the reading that game was like so nice. Like talking to Kim on the balcony at night, summarizing the day. It's like so, some of the nicest test moments in a game I've ever had. That was like so good. I really like that. So this collision will be here. Uh, and then... What else? I, I don't really... For, I, don't, I forget a lot of games really fast. Hempoli is programming ESS2 right now. Yes, I don't... I, I don't yeah, Hempoli is, is programming ESS2 right now. And I can't watch it because I don't want to get spoiled. I, 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 I'm very glad that he is quick to work on it again. Awesome. But I don't want to get spoiled, so I'm not going to watch it. Not anymore. What would you rate Dreadmore? Eh, Dreadmore would be like a solid B, I think. Or like a low, maybe like a low B. Probably. It's, it's a fun time, but it's very like... Hard to get into and yeah. It's fun. It's just a fun game once in a while. In case you play Portal 1 and 2, would you rate them? Uh, Portal 1 would be like B. Portal 2, 2. They're, they're solid games, but they're not my game, really. Not my type of game. I guess. But they're, they're fun. Is Environmental Station Alpha your favorite game? Yes. Yes, it is. Sorry, that's so fucking dead that an achievement I got in 2016. Five homes in a small space. Only four point six percent players has it. Yeah. I wish Starbands went. I, I wish Starbands went went somewhere, but it didn't, which is sad.
Oh, the tattoo artist posted my, my tattoo. How do I post it on my story? Sorry guys, one second. I got a very, very important message, guys. There, in my story, okay. Uh, since the Everwood 2 trailer? I don't think, I don't like, so like, I don't like watching trailers because they spoil things about the game that I would rather figure out for myself. What's your favorite open world slop? Oh. The thing is, I, I really like, I really like those open world crafting games. I think they're fun. As, 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 as like, sad as that is, I really like Seven Days to Die. <laughs> Which is such a shit game. Seven Days to Die, it looks like such horseshit. Let me show you guys. In case you're like unaware of how bad that game looks, and like what a slop game it looks like. Let's, let's look, let's look. It's such fucking slop, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really fun game though. It's a fun game. <laughs> but it's such fucking slop though. It's such mega slop. And by the way, uh, it's been in early access since like 2013. Like, I, I went to high school, man. I went to high school when a friend of mine said that this was like a game he liked playing. And I was like, God, this guy is like actually retarded. How can he play this game? But then... I played this game with uh, with Pyro and his editor, and uh, an e-girl I was e-dating, and uh, like some other friends, and we had so much fun playing the game. Like it was it was it was sick. Um, and then I played it again with like my 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 online friend group, and it was like wild. It was, it was so much fun. Sorry, Valley e-girl. <laughs> Yeah, it was like a, a, a girl that I like knew online, and she was chill. And uh, but then she wasn't chill; she was actually crazy. So <laughs> she, she seemed like a chill, fun person. And then I met her in real life, and she was like fucking mega unhinged. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm done. Bye bye. Anyways, but yeah, that was fun. I am leaving. Fun game though, more than you. But in LA, so like, I I like when people are like a bit alternative, right? Like they have uh, certain like op certain opinions. Like uh, they like certain types of art. They have like a way of speaking uh, that isn't like the the usual like normal type. Because the Norway is like a very uh, how do you put it? Norway is like a very like A four. Like A four is like a. You know how like a, a piece of think of a piece of paper. The form of that paper is an A4 paper, which is like the size of it. So when you say something is A4, it means that it's very normal. It's like very like defined and like in a box. So like in in uh, in Norway, everyone is like it feels like it's very much in this box. Very very like super mega NPC, and when people are outside of that, it is like refreshing kind of, and that's what I like. But that doesn't mean. That like it's so people like, it's, it's it's difficult to like differentiate that from being like a uh, ill-meaning like crazy malicious person right who, who are like super narcissistic and like fucked up. Uh, those are two very different things. So what I mean that I like uh, like crazy pe type of people. I mean like the the they're just like they are just a little bit alternative or something or like they have uh, black and white hair and piercings <laughs> like tattoos and shit. <laughs> And they gave me a sick head! But it doesn't mean that uh, I like when uh, they are literally insane and like have five diagnoses. <laughs> Big difference. Big difference. It's true. Vacuum <laughs> cleaner. Have you heard of Voice Stranger? 
think. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna devolve this into game recommendations. Just stop before it begins. Just stop. I'm not gonna do it. White hair. I'll buy it against Pyro head. No, I don't get Pyro head. I did. I did. Uh, when I met Pyro for his birthday, like in, in last spring, uh, it was so dumb because I. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the most like spastic thing I've done in my life. Yeah, you know, I, I, I don't know if I'm like misremembering this because like I had taken like uh, uh, meds for flying because I was scared of flying, so I took like Valium basically, and then I started drinking after that. So my memory is a little bit hazy, but because uh, you're not supposed to drink when you're in Valium, but I did because I'm uh, a dog. So yeah, no, 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 no. He kissed me on the cheek or something because when he met me, and then I. Like, try to one-up him, and I would, like, turn his face and, like, <laughs> like, lick his cheek. <laughs> it was the most artistic thing of my life, but, uh, uh that, that, that's... Yep. That's gay. Having autism is not bad at all, it's just other people that make it hard for you. I'm lucky to be high functioning and I can do all the things normal people uh, but people still find ways to make take it put you down or make it no matter what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People can be really annoying. Uh I can imagine. I had I was like uh talking to a girl who had had like a, an ex with autism and like It's not like yeah, I mean it's literally called a spectrum for a reason. Like you can even if you like, you have autism, like, you still have a have like a get a like a girlfriend who is normal and like function just fine. It's not like the end of the world. That's most people, a lot of people think that it is. Now I don't have autism myself, so I can't really speak on it. But it doesn't seem like a fucking death sentence that a lot of people think, seem to think that it is. I just have like a XQC speech impediment and <laughs> and like uh, it's really bad attention span. But that's about it. Oh, alerts are still muted. Let me fix that. I'm not actually talking about the tier list anymore, so it's gonna be on again. Anyways, well, it's 11 p.m. now, and, uh, well, it's been a short stream, only three and a half hours, but... And it's Friday. I could play some games, but I also want to recover this fucking tattoo. I didn't know it was gonna be this big of a deal, because, like, I woke up early to go to the appointment. The appointment started, by the way, at 10 a.m. And I'm out of the, the, the tattoo parlor at 6 p.m. Like, by the way. So I didn't know that I was gonna be, like, that late. And then I had to eat, and then now I'm like, I can't move my hand, basically. That, I'm doing this, just chatting shit, because I can't move my hand. Uh, I can't play Fortnite. Like, I'm sitting here with this shit, like, turning it around is, is, is pain. Is that early tomorrow? Tomorrow is Saturday, right? Yeah. In that case, uh, tomorrow we can do an editing stream. I'm not gonna, like, I'm just normally to, on, fr on Saturdays, I would, like, go out and, like, they're probably gonna go drinking. My friends are probably gonna go drinking, but I'm not gonna do that because, like, with this tattoo, uh, I don't wanna, like, drink and get, like, uh, get it scuffed, like, fuck it up or something. So I'm gonna, just tomorrow, we, I guess tomorrow we can edit. You can play Elden Ring with one hand. No, I, I have a lot of, a lot of, I have a lot of games in my Steam library that I can definitely play with one hand, but Elden Ring is not one of them. So, I'll... I mind functioning autism, and if I can confirm it isn't the end of the world, if you're in a different uh, than someone in, you know or are in a relationship with, if someone really cares for you, they will support you in any way they can. Yeah, literally, dude. Like, it, yeah, for sure. It's, but I, I think I know exactly what you mean when some people are just like really, <laughs> really fucking annoying about it. Yeah, I can I can play much less Spire though. We can do much Spire. I have still this. I can play this, no problem. We can do one more run. Because uh, I only need one hand with this. And then the other hand can, uh, like, fap when I get the calipers. Uh, spear with, uh, what's it called? Uh, chimera cars. Slay the spire. Did you hurt your hand? <laughs> I went to a I got a tattoo, man. 
I got a really big tattoo. So it's uh, it's 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 like covering my entire forearm, and when I twist it, it it like twists the skin because that's how your forearm like like hand like here works. So it's like, I try to I'm I'm keeping it still in this position all stream. So uh, let's play. Uh, we did eight, this guy, so we can we can do uh, spire no spire, silent or defect. You can you can do ah uh, pull for it. Ugh. Character. Zealand. Defect. Three minutes. And a prediction at the same time. At the same time we got a prediction whether I beat Act 1 or not. <laughs> well, while you're voting and doing predictions, I'm going to get some food. One sec. Be ready.
Dude, hello, chat. Uh, hello. What was the results? <laughs> what was the results? <laughs> 50 50. <laughs> okay. Nice. Nice, dude. Hmm. Then you play Watcher. Take that. If Fatal permanently increases this card. It's exhaust? Oh my god. Oh no, my, I mean, we reached my fucking. Uh, <laughs> okay. But you don't want this. What? <laughs> the scam? Secret ending, yeah. Red relic for damage, money. What do we have here? Low, low, uh, low energy act. No elites. Damage for relic, or just take money. Take the money and run. We could go take money. Uh, do two combats, have some decent money, chop, and then elite, and then we do three, two more elites. And no bonfires, lol. Because well, I get we get two bonfires. Okay, well, at least. We're so dead though. Ethereal? Okay. Is this enough? Seven, six? Yeah. It's never gonna this is this ritual is like, not gonna do anything to the <laughs> Bowling strike. Oh, lol. Slayers, bowling strike, strike, full strike. Strike a rank. <laughs> oh my god. Bye. Okay, well, that works, right? Sticky flurry blows. Streamlight preservance. It's like the most like it it wants to do one thing. It wants to be played a lot, but then it wants to be retained a lot. Like it's <laughs> good lord. Retained free of loss. Hmm. Well, I guess this is a decent damage. I'll take it for, for now. Remove a card. Massive defense is really fine. Okay, go away. Alright then. Goodbye. What? Dog. Absolute flying to leaves. Five damage twi twice into eight. Mm, cut your fate is good. Uh, empty face is fine. This is good though. I'll take that. Thank you. Combat. Dog bless. Oh my god, we're gonna upgrade it. Wow. Bye. Boot tiny cutter fate. Innate. Deal for damage, scry two, draw one card. You know what? That's actually good. Zero cost? Yeah, fuck it. I'm down. <clears throat> it's bad. The shop is bad. Ain't nothing good here. Take a stun potion and remove a defend question mark. We can get some elite here we are. Void stranger when. A guardian too. Oh, I guess I'll remove strike then. No, the strike ring. Strike. Ah. Alright. Hello. I'm probably gonna regret that. I was flexed? No way. Let's see that. Okay. We're good. Slippery, Rest of Flame, Tranquility, Electric Crush Joints. 
Take a trank. Flex portion is better than colorless for sure. That's super good. Summoning, what the fuck? Block, go. What? Hello? Dog? Okay, nice. Thank you for losing me four damage for no reason. My god. I literally discarded that. Flank slips. Hello? I feel like this is fine against uh, Guardian, but I'll just give this. Stance or fire. Still feel stance is better with uh yeah, this is probably better. Probably better. Six six six. Hmm. Shields with this one less now. Good. Yeah, good. Tantrum is here now. That's 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 good. That's good. Good. Uh -huh. Upgrade before the elite. This could be reasonable. Upgrade the tantrum or uh, an eruption would be like kind of weird to upgrade. So you only get to use it one time. Tantrum, I guess? Or we could transform. Spray 3. Three blows. But this is decent. This is actually okay damage. Like, it's 13 now. 13 is fine. Especially if you draw it after the Tantrum, then it's good. Uh, I think I'll upgrade the Tantrum, maybe. That's four times. Six. Hmm. You think when Watcher Edgers' wrath steam comes out of her ears like in a cartoon? Yeah, I, I imagine that every time. Let's just form a card. Inner piss, okay. I like that more. Okay, what do we do now? It would be a good time to wake up. We do have a massive defend next, but we don't have any exit out of Tetrum if you use that, so I want to use it next. Oh, we have Tranquility! Ah, oh, shit! Oops. Oh, well. I think I've already missed a lethal, haven't I? Could pop this now and just slay. But it's probably better to use next turn, right? Yeah. I don't want to read all that. I want damage now. Now would be a good time to use this. This is probably lethal. Yep. Good. Bye bye, Laga. Runic Spirit Shield. Can't see intense, but it costs one. Charge pass rate. Next turn, get energy. Uh. I mean, yeah, against the. Uh, I wouldn't mind having some better block against uh, the boss coming up because he's a dog. Right. 
One cost runic shield is pretty good. They still get, yeah, three block per card. They don't have like the best draw in the world, but. Let's build into some mantra, fuck it. I never really feel like doing the spirit shield shit. Or like, yeah, it's, yeah, it feels like a weird card. Weird card. I really don't think, Cutter Fate, I guess, yeah. What about this one? Yeah, Sky 3, uh, uh, Boot. Boot Sky 3 is pretty good. I can, I can fuck with that. Thank you. Do I draw that now or that? Where do, what's the next card? Okay, draw that. Oh shit, wait, I gotta draw that. Yeah. That's it, he's dead. Goodbye, my god. Oh! Well, in that case, I guess he's not dead, huh? Ugh. Yikes. Well, let's go put him in an inconvenient spot. You could say. Jesus. It's Christ. Evaluate. It's, this is gonna be nice against, uh, yeah. Yeah, can use this against uh, the moron. Wow, what hits? What? Okay. Jesus Christ. This is rare. Damage, yikes. Come on, man. Dog. Slippery halt, no. Empty body, uh, an empty wouldn't be in there. Yeah, I think we want an empty body, sure. It's, it's Guardian, so I'll take empty body, just for safety now. At this point, uh, it doesn't decrease. It only, it just, okay, so this doesn't get more damage if I upgrade it. It only just uh, lower, lower uh, cost, but I don't really care about that too much. Would this maybe upgrade the mantra? Strike rank, four of me. Yeah, it's like one more damage. Eh. Eh. Maybe cut your fate? Sure. Very good. What do you see? He doesn't know. What is he doesn't what is this no? What? He knows now. What's he know? What's he not know? I don't get it. Dude, bing, 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 bing. Well, I guess like, I couldn't even do damage with that holy with this 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 deck. Jesus Christ! Bitch! Die, dog! Thank you. It's two of the fun, yeah. Should be good. Missing out of this is kind of meh, but whatever. We can, there's still two turns of blocking. This is sticky, which is really actually kind of nice now, yeah. Sure. So we can maintain it for the discard pile when we redraw, like that. Good. Strike rank is good. Uh, yep. Yeah. 
Aha. Do we stay? Yeah, we can stay in. We can stay in Wrath. That's fine. For now. Siri. <laughs> okay. Nice. Take ten. Who cares? What does it matter? I want to. I want to kill this guy. Fuck you, man. What? Eight? Really? No. Well, I'm not gonna die. You know what? I'm saving the potion. <gasps> no, I'm stubborn. Fuck you. I heal anyways. Who cares? Shielded blasphemy. That's such horseshit. Slippery day sex. <laughs> Boot omniscient. Uh, boot omniscient is kind of hyped though, but I don't have the energy. There's nothing good. There's, we have, don't have a good omniscient target either. Like it's, eh. it's good for later, but for now it's like, uh, like it's very powerful. It's very powerful. I'll take it. We can get a black star for more relics. Yeah, the card has good potential. I guess. Or cursed key. Oh, my hand. Oh, yes. I'm gonna die in act two, for sure. This uh, this run is mid. My my deck isn't good. It's not good. No way. Can you not use the card yet? No, I can't. I can't. But I can use it if I take this or this. Uh, and also, if you upgrade it, it can you can be used. But the point of this is that like omniscience is a card that can only pick from your draw pile. And if it's boot, it means that it will always have a draw pile to pick from, unless it's in your hand. So like, as long as, long as your, your like uh, deck is bigger than, you know, five cards, then you're gonna be able to pick a card. And, and if you have some powers that are good, like if you have uh, a mental fortress upgraded, or if you have a, a rushdown, then omniscient's booted will make it so that you can play it two times, and it's really powerful to just be a way of duplicating some powers that are really good duplicated later. I can see this run be really good with the rushdown, but like. You can't always get that. Or you can double wish. Double wish is just really funny. I do have miracle, yeah, but it it could get a yeah dog water keyword. It can get like some uh, shielded miracle or miracle X. So like, ah, <laughs> uh, it, it 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 really depends, man. It really depends. As for this, uh, I do have the blue key, so I could take the, the red key here, but that means I have to skip two chests. At minimum, two chests, if I don't want to get cursed. Uh, whereas, Ectoplasm will mean no money. Fuck that. Black Star is super greedy. Don't think I'm gonna go for that. So, uh... I, just, I, have, I barely got Relic's first act, Jesus Christ. Hmm. Definitely want power or like or like energy. Really do want energy. No doubt. Key is the most reasonable choice, I think. But I have a good money, but I can buy like one big relic, and that's it. And there's so much more money to be made that I kind of. And also, we have one more relic is ceramic fish, so maybe not to get to some, yeah. Maybe not. Perhaps not. This question about this: Do I go mega greed, or do I actually do I like get energy for later? I feel like the energy is going to be really important with these cutter fates and the some and we have inner Yeah, I think I'll take the energy. Curse key then. Definitely want to get an early shop here if that's possible. 
I can also get like a sword blade shop, but like getting some power immediately now through the shop would be nice. A lot of encounters, but we have uh, Wolf Neg to like kind of incentivize that, so that's fine. Yeah, I could do something like, uh, like this. Very a lot, a lot of encounters, but again, we have yeah, Molten Egg makes that a bit more attractive. That's one path. Uh, here we can do like an elite and a burning elite, and then some bonfires, I guess. But uh, no, and then we don't get a shop. Nah, we don't get a shop. I need to get Instead a shop. Instead of going out to drink, I stayed home and played Fortnite Gome. Based, four energy to play what twice? What would I play twice? Nothing really. So this is now a bit useless until we get a good card. I think I'll call him. Gonna have to get some uh, some rage up in here, Fa fast, like really fast. Can you kiss the camera? I'm very close to killing him. He will be dead, inshallah. Next turn. I can't kill the kiss the ass in the camera. It will, it will fall over and die. Sorry. Goodbye. Tantrum plus, dude. Amplify them to my. Draw four cards. Like, what's, the, what's the usual? Increases cost by one? Proportion increases effects are not damage block. Is it draw two? What is this? Draw six cards? <laughs> oh. Well, here we have a card that goes well with getting more energy. We got a draw six cards. No camera kiss, but six cards. That's so many cards. That's good. I'll take it. That's a lot of fucking cards. Swivel Miracle for Blood. Hmm. Uh, but Trucking is good. Sure. I'm sure we'll find a way out of this. We did. It's good. Thirty. We do have tantrum there. We got some stuff to work with. I gotta pop this first though. There's so many cards. Holy shit. Lois. I was very close to getting this kill though. Very close. I, might have to, I think I have the portion here, right? Yeah. 10 and 6, 16. I'll take some. 5 damage is fine. The fuck? The fuck? Okay. I love this guy. I should have just used the potion, man. Jesus Christ. In slippery days, this dude. What am I got? Pernicious just lucky. Try to gain to block due to damage and apply poison equal to unblock damage. That's that, two, well, it's only two damage, but did it get this poison? <laughs> if you're in call, we get 14 block. Wow. Sure, I'll try that. Duplicate a card in your deck or give something echoing. Double play, exhaust. Only play build a card without exhaust. Oh, okay, it plays twice and exhausts. Well, in this is exhaust. Uh, I, I don't have any good. I, I could do the zero cost, yeah. Sure. That's a good card. Because it draws. That's good. I like when cards draw. Okay. 
should be able to play him this turn. Unless I draw crap. No. I need more card draw. Like a uh, uh, fucking yeah. A rush on this mandatory now, I feel like. Recalling recalling worship the Draw on this card and reshuffle. <laughs> okay. Yeah sure. Oh yeah, that'd be a mantra salt at least. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Damn. Wolla plus is actually gonna be good. Pellet for what? I don't really see any reason to pellet. Sanctified Fortress is good. Slugger for Little Bros. A zero cost that does 6 damage and the night to all enemies is actually really good. It's exhaust though, but yeah. Wallop is gonna be nice. Hopefully the Wallop is pretty good. Fuck off. Get out of here. This is card draw and a power, which is pretty good. When you upgrade it, it yeah, six blocks is nice. It's fine. It's a target for our omniscience, which is nice, at least. I guess pellet is fine. It has so many uses, I'll just buy it. And a wallop plus, I'll take 100%. I can probably just find a wallop, but wallop is just a good card that I can't not take it. That's very good. Plasma. Order. Should they go into Vigilance? Probably. If I play this first, I draw most card. If I do this first, I get four more block. Am I dead, though? Am I dead? Yeah, Omni Wallop is like the one way out of this. They don't have an energy. Sure. That's it. Perfect block. I could have I could have used potions there though. This is a good turn. This is fine. The body is here. This is a uh, this next turn is fine. Do you want to do you want to use this mantra? Not really. We can discard it. It's fine. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What's this Chimera cards thing? It's epic. It just adds like a bunch of keywords to the cards. I gotta think here. Uh, I don't think you can play this. 
Like, I have four mantra, this gives five. If I I gotta draw, like, this again or prostrate again to make it work. At this point, I gotta upgrade prostrate so that I would have had mantra now, but it's. Uh, yeah, this needs an upgrade desperately now. Because then it's, it's one less cycle for it. A potion here is also an option. I'll, I'll have to do the potion method, I think. Tantrum is somewhere. I, we could scry for it, but I wanna do more damage with it. Draw, yeah, draw. We won't draw. I think. This zero cost. Uh, this zero cost is so important, dude. Holy. Okay, we made it. Good. Flowers here. Uh, Shameful Ramped Empty Fist. Gain Frail. Increase damage by 5 this <laughs> Okay. Uh, return to this pile to hand. Gain, gain Mantra on Flurry Blows. Oh, wait a minute. That could help. That's Wait, that's really good. If you change stances, you just get Mantra. Okay. You can just use it again and again and again. You get make. Oh, I'm probably dead though. Good lord. Unless, yeah, well. They're like, two months around. Okay, uh, here we can. This guy's gotta die fast. You're losing his watch. Yeah, my uh, my uh, my eruption has exhaust on it. It's a bit difficult to play when you're ex. <laughs> I mean, you, yeah, this turn is just very scuffed. This is very scuffed. Hopefully, next turn we get uh, a power so we can re remove that uh, debuff. For now, though, we could damage this something. But I guess we can. Yeah, we want to save this for later so we can remove our debuffs with it. I think. For now, we can damage. Not there's no good target really. That's the problem with this card now, it's just nothing. Because now I want to use this for pallets. That's the problem. All good cards. Valid. So now we got the wall up here. Lame. Fuck this guy. Don't even think about it, just molest. There. Flex deal form, nah. Recalling whip, nah. Just like a plus. Let's just upgrade it, but just like it, nah. Uh deal form, I mean it could be a tar it could be a target for this, but like I feel if energy wise we're fine. Like it's it's kind of a clog. Yeah, fuck that. I'm not gonna get that. Uh shop or encounter. I th I feel like shop. No, 139, no, there's no way. Hello, dogs. Now we gotta make something happen before it's too late. These guys are assholes. The miracle costs money, fuck. Okay. Do we draw again the... Yeah. The water third boss is such a meme. I want to draw the uh, uh, eruption so it does more damage.
Nuclear Miracle is so good though. Damn. They are rich on eruption, that way it will do uh, nine, uh, a bit more damage. 19, that's good. Good to watch her. Shield is very low, so this one damage gain 10 block. These free are so good though, they're so good. They gain 10 block for one cost and deal 6 damage, like it's so sick. But I feel like I'm clogging the fuck out of my deck with it though. Shielded? It costs one, mind you. It's not, it's not free. It's not free. It costs one, but but yeah, I, I can't have much filler. I already have two, and the one that's devoted and one is sticky, so it's like they're both pretty nice. But I'm not gonna get more. Another trank is useless too. Small chests. This is the smallest sprite, so it's gonna be common or uncommon, meaning we don't get it. Hello, Grim Leader. The jealous. I kind of like the, uh, the there's mantra star to go. Bowling strike layers is pretty good. Bye. Uh, no, we don't, we don't do damage. Fuck it, let's just molest the guy down. Oh, f of course, it, it costs... Swivel Miracle. Fucking end it. Yikes. He doesn't attack, so we're good. Thirty-eight. Ah, uh, there's, there's just not there. There. Twenty-one. Old hello. I hate intro. Shut up, intro music. <coughs> Reach heaven. No. Boot amplified shimmer for you. And then start the next turn. Enter wrath and draw six cards. <laughs> Angry boost sense of time. Innate retain deals 26 damage. When retained, lowers the cost of this card by one of this combat. Add a copy of this card into your discard pile. <laughs> okay. You can make this like deal 26. 26 is not that much damage. Like it's it's fine and it's gonna like it, it's this if you got this act one, it would be like the card of all time. Because like having sense of time innate on its own is insane. And then when you play it at zero cost, it becomes like copy 26, 26, but like you don't wanna clog your hand with that anymore. Like, no. I think with this new money we go shop. I'm pretty low on health, like one bad thing and it's over, but... Yeah, shop. Let's be reasonable about it. X card, X to chemical X. Uh, foresight form. At the start of your turn, scry 9, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Dude, if we, dude, if we omniscience this, we'll scry 18 at the start of our turn. This is gonna be the longest run in history. If we do that. Let's <laughs> try 18. Wow. We have an X cost? I don't think we do. No. Oh. Upgrade this to scry 12. <laughs> uh, scry 12, yep. Backpack. For sure backpack. This is a good good ass thing. Good relic. Card draw is something I definitely need. I feel like this is a good one. With omniscience, this is but no, omniscience we kinda rely on that omniscience using uh fucking uh this now to get into mantra. I don't like to into divinity. It's like a nice crutch right now, but for later this could be good. But scry chat, scry is that you look on your draw pile and you can discard the amount that it's scry. So like if it's scry three, you can look at the three next card of your draw pile and discard any number of that. So if you are, have scry three on your cutoff crusade, it will, you can just select which card to pick out of your three most nearest cards, which is really, really powerful. Like you, you, you draw a card plus you get to decide which one it is out of the three ones there. It's a very good card draw basically, yeah. You can also buy Chemex for the memes. Uh, Prostrate is not that. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy this for the memes. Fuck it. Literally, I'll just do that. 
Yeah. Uh, and this Drake Rang, I think, is falling off. This is still fine, but this is shit now. Yeah. This is also, this is actually more ass. Like that. Okay. Six block is kind of bad, yeah. Do you want to upgrade something? I feel like Mantra is... This process is good. Free Mantra. Or this to draw six cards, which is insane, by the way. Or Mental Fortress to get more block from that. Munitions also would be good to just like have it a bit cheaper, so we don't have to waste everything on it. Uh, but I, th I feel like just... Yeah. Six cards. That's really good. Draw six. Insane. Uh, yeah, basically, like, the, the, the worship was, um, the worship is good, but it needs to be, it needs, like, two cycles of the prostrate before, but now it only needs one cycle because we have the, the fists. However, having one, so here's one uh, uneven, and then we have two even, which means that we have, we have, like, two, two, and then five. If you upgrade this, it'll be two, three, and five. And that 2, 3, 5, no, the 2, 3, 5 adds up to 10. So I, that means I only have to play them one time before I go to Divine, which is good. Instead of having to play them, like, more than that. Uh, but it's, like, difficult to, to measure when these are already upgraded, right? Because, or, like, with this give two mantra, because I get to play this over and over and over again if I switch stances. Um, so this should technically be fine, because I'm probably going to play this more than once in one deck cycle. In that case, maybe Metal Fortress is better to, to, to upgrade. Chimera cards are basically the deconstructed effect of the Manila cards. Add on to affect his other cards. Add some funny stuff as an extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like here it says Boot Tiny Cutter Fate. Boot means that it's innate. Uh, tiny means that it reduces cost and re reduces, like, the damage it does. Um, but the thing about Boot Tiny Cutter Fate, which I have two of because I mirrored it, is that it still scries three and draws one card. Those are not reduced by the Tiny modifier. It just means that it's a free card that hits for six and draws one card. Now that six damage matters a lot when you hit for triple or like double damage. So it's very good. I'm just considering, do I draw a charge like... What is, the, what is the key upgrade here? This is definitely a good upgrade. But is this better? Sanctified Mental, Mental Fortress. Having, yeah, four block per, per stun change is not very good. I think our block plan is what is gonna be most, yeah. For all drawing that fight with the boss, I think block plan is gonna be most important. I think we upgrade the, the block. And then you get one more upgrade before the boss anyways. I'm gonna upgrade this. This needs to be uh, upgraded. For sure. Hello, Centurion. Civil Miracle. I feel like here we can just again play this twice and just win the fight. It's just so easy. Let's go with the vine and slay. You can kill her instantly with this. Strike a rank three times. Well, let's go away. Okay. Blessed. Sometimes Civil Miracle is really good. Okay. So this is very blows. Uh, Deep of Enemy, the Magic Frosty Halt. Gain your block. If you're in Wrath, gain three. Now block, channel one Frost. <laughs> channel Frost Exhaust. <laughs> okay. It's gonna scuff my opening hand. I'm not, I don't like that. I don't want that to be beautiful. No Colosseum, sadly, yeah. Rip. Holy Miracle X. Add a Miracle to your hand. Oh, it's Chemical X. That's actually good. <laughs> Lol. Yeah, Miracle X is actually no longer a curse. Wow. Who would have guessed? Ooh, 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 ooh. Like that. I gotta go Calm, somehow. Did I discard Calm? No, I didn't. Okay, I'm not that stupid. Uh, boom. Okay. There's Calm, yeah, sure. Discard that. Is 
Is this enough? 63? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that card is got, starting to kind of slap, dude. It's starting to slap for real. Wow. Crescendo for one, bring back a zero cost card. Uh, Bloodshending follow up. Deal 38 damage. What the fuck? <laughs> Bloodshending increase the damage by 250% to 400. Depending on the initial cost. Like what MK2, 6 block. Hmm. 28 damage if last was played. Yeah. That's a heavy, heavy fucking attack. I mean, this could be good. Right? 28 damage straight up? Why not? I have I have good energy. Yeah, let's get it. <laughs> let's do a fuck ton of damage. Why not? Maybe upgrade this or... Yeah, let's do this. More energy per turn one. Why not? Prepare Swiveled. There we go. Energy, it's pretty good. I really need more card draw. Like, yeah, this, this I need way more ways to do card draw. Both of my this is actually just really unlucky, though, but yeah. That's really unlucky. That's also last draw to my worship. What oh, the bastard. Good thing I'm devoted. And now this becomes an exit out of wrath. That's so f that's so XD. Devoted. Sticky. Devoted. Comes back instantly. Well, no, it doesn't. X. These are just really sexy right now. Look at this. Oh, 114 damage, dude! Lamau. Holy. So stupid. I can go fucking... Oh, if I only upgraded it, holy shit. Close, this is really strong though, holy fuck. Holy fuck. There. This is just mantra of doom deck. Yeah, we got bludgeoning. <laughs> Goodbye. Bonk! Wow. Oh! Uh... Shuffle the expanded into draw pile, draw one card, it's got one try, enter Wrath Exhaust. <laughs> we don't need the expunger, dude. We have yeah, no way. We have uh we have bludgeoning. We have this bludgeoner, this fucking crazy attack. Vault could be okay, but Chemical X makes it a little bit better, but uh yeah. It's a bit awkward to go into Vault go into Wrath and then end your turn with no energy. Like that's a bit awkward. That's a bit cringe. Yeah, but we already have we already have good damage. Our damage is not lacking. We need maybe a better black block plan. A black plan. <laughs> block plan. <laughs> oh, I, I just don't feel like it. It's it's clog. It's clog. We already yeah. I, I I didn't pick up chemical X for that. I picked up chemical X for other cards. So for example, did we did we get one the other? Yeah, we got like a miracle X for example. You can get like a you can get powers with X in them chat. Like you can get so many things with X. But like this is not this is a pretty like lackluster card. It's pretty like luster. Like I hate to bring it to you, but it's just not that great. Uh, wish is like a joke. 
sort of. I mean, a st strength would make me do more damage, but I don't need it right now. Uh, money is good, but it's not needed. Vault could be a nice get the jail free card. At times. I wish it's not that great. I feel like this is mostly a skip other than like vault for stalling, like. I don't know. I'll get a vault. I have the energy for it. Astrolabe here is actually pretty tempting. Get some. Well, I mean, I. Defense right around these three, I guess? Vigilance? I honestly, I, I could take Vigilance with this. Because we have so much Mantra, we don't actually need Calm at all. Or Wrath, even. Like. I don't know. We have these empties and we have Mantra. Like, I don't fucking need their senses. They're trash. Slaver's color is decent, but uh, not needed. And uh, yeah, I feel like Astrolabe is just a better version of uh, Empty Cage. Because Empty Cage removes some cards, but this takes three and just makes them into something else upgrade that's probably more useful. I would say. Uh, even Tantrum is like not even needed. I think we could just break Tantrum, take away Tantrum, Vigilance, and... Uh, Wrath is nice because it does like good damage and it is like this ritual thing with it and it exhausts, so it fucks off anyways. Yeah, I think we just did that. Just make these cards go away. Fuck you. Uh, Inner Priest is nice because it draws cards. But Vigilance costs two, so it's a bit ass. And then Tantrum is like... Kinda useless. Because uh, basically now we just go in and out of the vine. Basically. Although, if you think... Like, these are nice tools for going in and out. Yeah, well... I have Inner Peace. Still. And I have Tranquility. And this. Maybe we keep, keep Tantrum as like an entry to Wrath. Having one entry to Wrath is actually nice. If anything, we can take it through the ritual. Because I want to switch stances. I want to be able to reliably switch stances so I can play the, uh, the, the devoted ones a bit more often. I need more stance entries. I guess I could make do with Inner Peace and Empty Body and uh, Amplify the Empty Mind. I guess. Because I don't actually need to enter Wrath, I just gotta enter Calm and leave it. Again and again. Yeah, let's do that. If I could steal and Inner Pierce, yeah. And then, what's the last one I, f I figured? Master Defend? Strike Rang? What would be the last one? To def uh. To defend. So we get Philosopher's Protect. Gain 60 block, all minions gain one strength. Okay, that's pretty bad. Massive value. Gain 20 block. Well, 20 block is more than 10. Choose an attack and it will be made. Okay, well, sure. That's, that's fine, I guess. It's not great, but it's. Eh. We gotta do a burning elite, so I guess it's the same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're doing counters, or you're doing counters. Alright. We can do a little, if we do this is just a bunch of encounters, I guess. Jesus Christ. They're all the same act. No matter where you go. Like you have a lot of, a lot of like places to go, but they're all end up the same place. Good inch. That's funny. This is so good though. Holy fuck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Massive Fair Blows, Massive Sticky Concrete, Assist to all follow up. Nah, I don't think we need this. What a, what a joke this game is now. We got bludgeoning, yeah. Uh, is there anything. I just want to go call me, yeah. Uh. 
Yeah, I guess we can just chill. No, this we have enough block actually. Yeah, okay, let's do that. We got enough block. Okay. As long as we have blocked up, we're good. Leave spin. Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, my head. Oh. Yes. Ouch. Ouch. Shame for Pomo Strike. Pure hand degree. It sounds good. Money. Well. Okay. I gotta draw more cards. This is ass. Die. Wow. Nine. All right. Block it then. Jesus Christ. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna take damage. Yeah. There. Eh. Eh. Fuck you. Then the mess evaluate. Boom. Evaluate in this nuts. Poof. Money. Okay, no. I was gonna be gonna read that carded. Oh Tesseract! Hello! Yeah. Give card auto. No, not auto play. Or do we want an auto play card? We can bring we can make auto boot omniscience. <laughs> uh do. Nay. Mapix, thank you for the presub. Nay. Yeah, let's look at this. Uh, okay, ass. Swift strike plus eh, bandage trap. Eh. Wow, that was complete trash. Draw two card. Well, let's draw two card. This is draw two card. I can't say no to draw two card, right? Sticky violence. Okay, that's kind of. Hmm. Uh, yeah, no, this is shit. Goodbye. <laughs> Violence is nice, though. Very good. Aha! I can, I can pick up, I can find, potentially find those pretty easily, which is nice. Then if it just stands, stands from there, it should be fine. I don't have to play that. We can just this. Boom, boom. More. Boom, boom. Almost there. One fourteen, baby. Good. What should we got here? <laughs> What's this? Is deal sixty-two damage to all enemies. Lose for focus. Absolute cards must be played before any card. Uh, how much is this? Deal. 186 damage to all enemies. Lose for focus. Fucking. Buy the blast! Push! Bye. See ya. <laughs> yeah. Joe, what Nirvana, honestly, a card to consider. Now that I have so many, uh, I have a lot of, like, cutter fates. I have three cutter fates and uh, this coin. It could be some decent block that could help. Uh, I'll, I'll try Nirvana for the first time in my life. Maybe it will fuck me, but who knows. Who knows, man. Top taking that shit is nice. Discard scat. Fuck you. Ah, good. I swear to god, this is so sick. This deck is like... I, I, I don't know, man. Claw for the load, iron wave... Uh, fragile signature streamline. It's got all... 
You know what? I'll take the Iron Wave. Thank you very much. Bye. Go ahead. Sixth. Nice. Bye. How much? Uh, uh, do I have more draw? No, I don't have more draw. Oh, this is... It's... Oh, it's actually retained. That's so stupid. There's no way this... <laughs> it's too good. It's too good, man! Yeah. Can I get some block like this and this and then we just pop the fucking 114... Yeah. <laughs> this is dumb. This is stupid. Hello, Burning Elite. That's this guy. I, you know, I think this guy is done for. I'm not gonna, like, sugarcoat it here. I think he's just dead. <laughs> Holy Predator. Well, it costs zero, so why not? Nah. Well, that's a good source of damage. Maybe I should have. Uh, hmm. Wow, the damage. How much now? 187 for this. <laughs> okay. Turn one head, goodbye. <laughs> oh my god, what a dog. Molested. Flying devoted sense of time. Game six? What? <laughs> what? Devoted. This is block the damage between the game mantra. Gets a game's mantra relative to the card cost. Six mantra. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll take it. Thank you. I'll uh, shop, maybe? Do I need any upgrades? I think we need to ch to upgrade the prostate for real, because it, it lets me hit Mantra so much faster. Like, it's crazy how much faster I, I get it if I get that. That one more Mantra makes such a difference, dude. Holy shit. I don't know if I need it anymore, but... Yeah. Do we, we do three. We do three. three let's fuck it. I feel, like, I feel so strong, dude. Yeah, uh, goodbye. You got that. Huh. Four more than. If only I can draw some more. I mean, why not? I'm so close to hitting the target though. I think that has up. There you are, you dog. I need to just block a lot here, don't I? Yeah. Sure. I need to block more than that. Let's have a block, maybe. Block so much, dude. What the fuck? Ow. This guy's mess.
Så det er for å farlig damage den der, jeg gjør 60 mantra. Holy fuck. Thought I should have played my powers. Good. Doink. Mummified. That's that's very nice. Wow. For two cards. Superiority or die. I'm good. Oh sh! I forgot. I forgot. I, I forgot. Chat. I honest mistake. Honest mistake. I forgot. I forgot. Uh, it's just uh, you know, habit, habit, habit. Me healing? What the fuck? How? Now I can just play a bunch of uh, powers. And everything costs zero. What the fuck? Two more energy. Let's draw one card. Good. Now we go divine and slay. There are four cars, that's so nice, wow. Dramatic, good repaired. Oh, very nice, thank you. We're going to do this again, holy shit. This is just going crazy right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we win. Hourglass. Boot inner piece. Hmm. Come on, that was reason in the combat. Yeah. Hello. Winding halls. Uh, madness bad. Goodbye. This guy again. Jesus Christ. So I just like fucking... Throw me that. And free omniscience? No way. I like to use that like as a source of uh, that. Oh my god, that's gonna be so good. <laughs> Eight damage eight times. Yep, yeah, seems good. Bye. Starting calm, that's a start. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, maybe get wallop? Have you heard of a game called Run Gore? It's like, it's like Lady Spire on crack. Hmm, no, I haven't. I think another wallop could be okay. Some attacks to throw out. Maybe. Definitely the strikes can go the fuck off now, for real. I'll, I'll chill. I could Omni too, yeah, I could Omni Omni. To be fair, that's a, that's a thing you can do. Let's just go with this. Should take this away, yeah. Meteor Strike! Okay. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Bye. 
Draw one card, draw one card. You know what? I'll take draw one card, draw one card. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Hello, uh, Awakened. Pure Miracle. I should have kept this first. I am kind of stupid. Thank you. Do we just get to the strike rank like that? I could I could just use it to yeah, I could do this actually. That's probably better. Predator meteor strike. You know what? Go ahead. That's some pretty good uh pretty good damage right there. Anyways, I just turned on everything at this point. I guess Timekeeper is the only thing that will maybe have a chance. Maybe, mind you. I actually have powered. I actually have the energy to use a fucking gigantic. Uh, I won't bother those. All are good, okay. More turns. You don't get to play, I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry, you're dead. Bonk! Dead, dog. No timekeeper, I guess, you, yeah, there's no problem then. That's the only thing, like, remotely difficult. We hit it. I knew. I fucking knew it would hit. I knew it would hit. That's enough monster, I think. Yeah. Beautiful. Time for molest. Good. Good, goodbye. Turn one slay. One away from getting the Oh, well, actually, I, 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 do I get. I do. I fucking get it again. <laughs> what can I get? Vault, vault. Electro flag. <laughs> so this thing riddled with holes. Is it debuffs? No. A close line twice? Yeah, I forgot. 57. Boom. Boom. Uh, yeah. I believe we. I, I, I don't think you can lose this. I, I was like, kind of worried that in the beginning, but now I'm like just chilling. At some point, at some point, I was worried, but now we are actually just chilling, for real. It's time to die. Boom. To thump, to thump, to thump. Two eighty-seven two. That's a lot of damage. That's a high score. That's actually your. Do you know chat? That's actually your score. You damage it based on your score. What? Time for more draw. Yay. 
Yes. All in heart, yeah. Very clever. Smart decision. Control blade is here again. Slippery locking, yeah, okay. Slippery is terrible. Fuck that. Uh, cosmetic eye, of course. Some more decks could probably help, yeah. Alright. Smoke home not gonna be a thing here. Skill potion, go. That shouldn't have be been a speed potion for more, yeah. Whoops. Cause I have pellets. Pellet speed potion is really good. We get three ammunitions. Well, of course we do. I'm divine. You're dead. No more shield. This card is so hype. There we go. Alright, they're done. Thunder Plus is pretty good. Uh, gain 10 block, deal and that's right. Draw a card with access to two cards. Okay, and this supplier consecrate. Thunder Plus. Uh, block and that is pretty nice. Did we get a tantrum? I guess we did, sure. Why not? Noxious Miracle, what do you have for me? Is that a, is that a worship for me? Yeah. Don't care. That may be too many cards. I need that. Okay, now we got some stuff to retain. No, we should be good. I, I, I'm gonna keep the debuffs, but because I don't think I have any more powers, right? I use my I use my powers like an idiot. Whoops. Oh, that sounds good. Wait, oh, I didn't die. No, there we go. I had that. I had, I had the backup. It's not good. Okay. That was a bit scary. Ow, dude. We should be fine from now on, though. Most likely. Except I'm not getting shit. Are we dead? Wait. I think I died. <laughs> I need one more mantra. Yeah, I died. <laughs> Damn, that sucks! Sucks to suck! Oh, my hand! Sucks to suck, guys! 5% uh, to Bucky Bella. Wow, you are so rich. <laughs> How? Good good job on the bet. Uh, you know, gamers know the heart is the heart. What a bitch. I'm super hungry. I gotta eat. I'm hu hungry. Why did I stay up so late? I should have not played this run, man. I'm so tired. Oh, I gotta, I gotta go die. What a long day of torture, but it was worth it. It was worth it. Talk time is so important. Yeah, talk time is really important. I I, I thought that du double. I thought that omnisciencing me. I thought that omnisciencing the mental fortress was gonna be good enough, but apparently not. 
I think I needed also to uh, have the scry there in there. But talk to that would have been really, really nice. That would have been probably enough luck. Because I could I could hit and hit and hit and hit, but like the uh, beat of death and... I had frozen heart. I, yeah, but like, dude, Spire is a game that... I had frozen high and I could have used that and seen what I was going to get. But listen, the, the Spire at this point, when I'm like this tired, I'm not going to be able to use frozen high. Frozen high is cosmetic at this point, for, for real. Oh. Hello for Nashi, not Nashi. Good morning. Tomorrow we stream editing, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be streaming me playing uh, Breath of the Wild, and then I'm gonna be streaming me uh, editing the video. But uh, it's gonna be tomorrow's probably gonna be a, a uh, Breath of the Wild play session. Also, my uh, the, the tattoo artist that I went to for this tattoo, he said that while this is recovering for about five days, I can't work out. I can't go to the gym, so I'm gonna have a lot of time to just like not go to the gym. <laughs> I, I go there like almost every day, so this is gonna be rough. But yeah, I, I'm gonna have a lot more time to stream then, I guess. More gaming. Can you stream? Yeah, I can. I can stream. What did you do? It's on my uh, Twitter. I'll be skit, so how also, is my the arm and I want to like stretch it up right now. Oh. Oh, it's so difficult. Manuel, thank you for the sub. But yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. Getting a bit late. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna chill. I haven't had a, I haven't actually had a... Dude, it's a kind of fucked up. I haven't had a, a moment today to just like not do anything and just like chill. Every waking moment it's been either pain, eating dinner really quick, or streaming. <laughs> I, I need some just time to just sit down and not do shit. Ugh. This is exhausting. Anyways. Thank you for watching, thank you for the subs, thank you for the business, thank you for the videos. It's been fun. Uh, good night, take care, wake up, love you all, have a good one. See you tomorrow with some editing and probably Lies of P. Um, I guess we can do Lies of P first, and then we do editing. Yeah. That's the plan. So good night, take care, wake up, love you all, have a good one. I think I already said that. I honestly, I can't keep track right now because I'm so tired. Yeah, good night. Ooh, ay, ay, ay. I don't have a good uh, good soundtrack for closing. Hold up. Space drunk. I like this one. Good night.